All right, I'm awake because it's 6 a.m. You're listening to Get Serial on Sin 90.7 FM with Andrew Lehman. And Jeff, we have got a cracking show. Don't listen to Nova, don't listen to Fox, you listen to Sin because we're the future of radio. Good morning, Andrew. How are you this morning? Good. Clearly not as energetic as you. No, I, I, I haven't even drank coffee yet, mate. I've drank cold you and that's it. And I'm just running. <laughs> I ran from Craigie Burn to uh, Melbourne Central. That's an hour Goodness. round. <laughs> and then you just got a tra- car. Yeah, I've got road. a car. I've got yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Only, you only ran as far as Melbourne Central. Yeah. The rest of the way, you thought, no, this is too far. <laughs> yeah. So I Ubered it from Melbourne Central to the Sim Studios, <laughs> yeah. which is about a two minute walk yeah. and a 30 second Uber drive. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Definitely. Now, you may realise that none of us are the regular fill ins. <laughs> And we are as unaware of that as you are. Um, but basically, yes, I'm, I'm afraid Maya and Natash aren't away, and I was, I've, I've been drafted back in to fill in for another week, and I have brought along to fill in for the other two, two of um, my, well, two of the greatest sinners in sin, oh, in, oh, in sin mate. history. Oh, pish posh. Oh, mate. <laughs> uh, 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 and also, also Jeff and Liam. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I'd well, so, love to meet his parents. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> oh, no, no, oh gosh, it left me in a hard spot there. <laughs> <laughs> Anything I, I say has been I th- judged. I think in the history of radio, this is the first ever time that an entire team had to be filled in. <laughs> yeah, I think this is actually the... You're right. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's like the first ever time that the, the host, all of them, didn't rock up. So that <laughs> no. we're all filling well, in. Oh, yeah, because usually on radio, when it happens, they do like the best of thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 But your know, times are tough here, yeah, at, the mo- at the moment, we're like a cheap Hollywood <laughs> reboot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, they opted for the worst of. We're, <laughs> not, we're not friends, we're Joey. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is, this is we're like, not Cheers. <laughs> we're Frasier. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, you're right. This is like this, that episode. Of the, uh, that's a very good metaphor. That, that applies to a lot of situations. Well, thanks. It took me an hour to write. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, like that episode of The Simpsons where they um, they play tennis and you know the uh, the Venus the Venus sisters take over from over in Bath. <laughs> yeah. And then the, the, Pat, Pete Sampras and who else is it? Take I Andy Murray or someone take over from Lisa and Mark. Yeah. So by the end of the show, that everyone is being replaced, and that's exactly what's happening here this morning. Yeah, the filler. But we still have a very big show coming up for you. We will be talking uh, to Margaret Cortez, who is the head of the Japanese Film Festival, happening here in Melbourne from the 24th to the 4th of November to December, respectively. Um, we also have all the regular segments. We'll be talking a little bit about uh, on this day in history, all the sort of things that you, you sort of hoped would leave when I left the show. We'll be back <laughs> for another week, um, and also, of course, the gig guide and um, just some fantastic breakfast ride chat. So stay tuned. It's going to be a big three hours. I, I we, it, this isn't so much a this isn't so much a, a, a radio show as it is a sort of uh, hostage situation at the yeah. studio. We yeah. have, we've haven't so much you know filled in as we have occupied it. The way it's going, yeah. but nevertheless, I'm sure it's still going to be a fantastic show. So definitely, you're listening to Get Serial on Sin 90.7 FM. All I Can Be by the Young Hysteria. You're listening to Get Serial on Sin 90.7 FM here this the. Uh, 22nd of November. No, 23rd. 23rd of November. That's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's been ironic. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was going by the American time. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, well, yeah, well, we do have some American listeners uh, on a Melbourne base station. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Actually, we should let you know. Yeah, you're right. We can, uh, on a very serious note. Um, if you did like the show or you didn't like the show and you want to let us know, um, <laughs> you can, fi- you can um, find us. On Facebook at Get Serial, like us on Twitter, which is just at Get Serial, yeah. and Instagram is at un- Get Underscore Serial. Yeah, yeah, it's strange. Yeah, um, because well, why not an underscore? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so, yeah, the underscores are going out of fashion. Yeah, so we need we need to bring the underscores back. So we're gonna start the underscore movement. Nice. Uh, if you want to join the underscore movement, you can go to Federation Square. Please bring your own signs. We'll have some snags there for you, oh. and we'll we'll get this started. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Send us an email at under underscore underscore <laughs> hashtag save the underscore <laughs> hashtag save the underscore dot com underscore. <laughs> yeah. Every single letter has an underscore between yeah. it. And we'll be, we'll be selling uh, underscore t-shirts, which are basically just t-shirts with lines on them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Very low lines. Yeah, just a low line. If, if Kanye West can sell a just a plain white t-shirt for $100, why can't we sell an underscore t-shirt? You know what? Exactly. We'll, sell, we'll sell an underscore t-shirt for $200. <laughs> yes. Imagine what would happen if we sold a white t-shirt with an underscore on it. <laughs> can you imagine how off the wall that would be? That how would about, just how like... about our t-shirt can be pure white and just at the real bottom we just have a black line? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's our underscore right there. <laughs> no, it, little ad symbol. It probably, it'd probably work. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. what's strange about it. It can probably actually work. Oh, if, we, if we get a celebrity to endorse it, yeah, we sell like hotcakes. Who, who, who <laughs> could we get to endorse it? Let's, let's actually, no, let's plan a meeting right now. Who can we get? I'll just take us on air for a second. <laughs> yeah. just, uh, if, you're, if you're listening, just stand by for a little while yeah, yeah. while we just have this yes. uh, if, conversation. Who could we get to endorse the underscore thing? Bill Murray. Mm. 
Probably. <laughs> he's, 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 yeah, Bill Murray's a very underscore type of... Yeah, he seems like... You know, at first time I saw him, like, he looks like an underscore. <laughs> underscore <laughs> type of guy. Do, do, do you associate sort of most famous people with punctuation? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, um, oh, Kevin Spacey, he's a punctuation mark. Kim yeah. Kardashian's a question mark. <laughs> <laughs> I'd agree with that. <laughs> oh, so, uh, yeah. Or an exclamation mark. Yeah. Um, and uh, Gordon Ramsay's all the symbol. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> right. A, yeah, Jamie Oliver's like, I don't know. He's, he's, he's also a question mark. <laughs> he's, yeah, just a hashtag. Uh, Who yells a lot? Because that would be an exclamation mark. Um, oh. hmm. we, we need, who's the celebrity that just yells? I'm trying to think of oh, one. I can't remember his name. Sharon Osbourne. He talks in a very cr- creaky voice. <laughs> he's an actor. Um, <clears throat> oh. No, sure. I can't. No. If you know, if you are the creaky voice actor, um, yeah. let us know. Uh, I guess no, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, actually, speaking of punctuation that's gone out of date, um, I, I, I really want to champion the semicolon. I reckon the semicolon is such an underrated piece of grammar. What's a semicolon? I can't I remember. It, I can't I remember. I, I, failed. I failed English. What's what? a s- <laughs> I mean, you're, you're really glad you filled in now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was told to use a semicolon the other day, and I was English? like, "Uh huh." Did you fail English? Yeah, dude. Really? Yeah, and I was also oh. the writer for In Joke. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so you're writer, you're radio, you're, you're words, you're currency now, and yet you're um. Oh, you're... Is that, it's a dot with a comma under it. You know there. when you're trying to do the. The yeah, thing. I just called you, you that... don't press shift and that thing comes up and you're like, what's the point? Yeah, I yeah. just I call that listing. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm about to list something, I do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, that's the that's the two dots. That's the that's the colon. The, just oh, your whatever. average vanilla plain middle of the road colon. Why not? Why can't we use semicolons? I don't know, but people just seem to be against it. Like, and I use it in my writing, and people say, take it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get that! Ah, oh, not a semicolon. Get like, it away what, from like, me. Don't that's offensive. Like, darken my door with that. Yeah, that's offensive yeah, now. I don't understand. What oh, you semicolon? How dare you, sir? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> yeah, I'm a full colon, love you. <laughs> <laughs> but like, because it's just such a useful. No bit. kid of mine would date a mm. semicolon. Just like, damn, that's semi though. <laughs> 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 um, oh, when's my that getting back? Um, <laughs> um, it's it's yeah, but okay, because it's just it's such, it's it's you know you can just it's it, you, there's so many situations in writing. You know, like when you just want a little bit of a pause. You don't want to come up. <laughs> you want to differentiate two statements, but you don't necessarily want to end the sentence. You do so the three dots. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's a real life tool. That's a real life tool. I do the three dots. If you do that too much, though, you look like you're, you know, you're, you're dying. No, <laughs> no, our teacher would yell at us. Our uni teacher would yell at us if we didn't do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because no, yeah, really. we have to do it in script. That's in radio script yeah. writing. You have yeah. to do the three dots. I yeah. did not know that. So yeah. like. Like not like so, you know. You're listening to get serial. Dot dot dot. It's that yeah, yeah, yeah. a mystery though. It's, it? it's called. It has a really. It's, a, it's got a name to it, but I can't remember the name. Yeah, she said it, but it's yeah, we six listening. in the morning, so let's just not try to think <laughs> too hard. Yeah, wait till the seven o'clock hour for the name yes. of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's bizarre. Yeah. Um, you know what one's probably taken the most popular? Um, hashtag. Yes. Yeah. I use yeah, hashtags oh. for everything. Oh, hashtag yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was just <laughs> hashtag the, the poor hashtag. It was if it wasn't for um that was restricted to just numbers. Uh, but now it's yeah. an everyday conversation. You told someone it's like, oh yeah, I just ate a burger. Hashtag YOLO. <laughs> but I tell you what, hashtags are really taking over the earth because I was paying my bill the other day, right? Yeah. And then they said, uh, now I want you to put your credit. This is the operator. Yeah. She's like, uh, put your credit card number in and then press hashtag. I'm like, wow, hashtags. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she said, she said hash key, but uh, it's really taken off, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like it's like coal before the industrial revolution. Like it's always been there. It's had very minimal use. It was really just used for numbering things. <laughs> I'll, bet, I'll bet our young audience will get that reference. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast radio content, right? <laughs> How have we not won an award? People, people spitting out their cornflakes all over. <laughs> people, people spitting out bits of kipper all over Melbourne. <laughs> so no, finally, finally a reference I can understand. Yeah. It's not really right because it's just like it, it had no context, and now it's yeah. You know, now it, I feel sorry for it almost. It's been well, it's in like ten years time. There'll be people sitting in this table going, you know what started out the hashtag. Yeah. What <laughs> happens to the poor hashtag? Hashtag <laughs> save the hashtag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and you know, back in the fifties, people were saying, "Hey, eh, you know, the underscore. It's all underscore. This underscore <laughs> that now." <laughs> I, I bet the, the the beloved underscore will never die. I remember seeing the old videos from the fifties that you show uh, students to you know teach them about different symbols. And they go, "What are you doing there, Timmy? Oh, well, Dad, I'm using an underscore to send a letter. Well, that did kids these days with their 
underscores and their hookies and their <laughs> skateboards and their uh, hats and their shirts <laughs> and their shoes. Their right. ball, and, ball and a cup. Ball and a cup. The kids playing with ball <laughs> and a cup. Back in our day, people only wore a t-shirt. <laughs> that was they it. didn't have any of them shoes or hats <laughs> or anything. Or underscore. What's that, Jimmy? What are you doing there? I'm just doing a... It's a what are you, what's a weird looking hyphen you're drawing there, Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> Bob, <laughs> it's an underscore. <laughs> wow, well, what's an underscore? Timmy, and the music plays in the background. An underscore. <laughs> <laughs> Underscores are you know, the greatest event by underscore ink, TM. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so bad habits. <laughs> you know what? We'll cover that in the next yeah, segment. Yeah, let's go that in the segment. I think that's. Uh, we've done well. That it, What is it? Uh, the chalk's gone, of course. Uh, I think we should go to a hashtag song soon. <laughs> yeah. so, so, hashtag good idea. Your hashtag listening to hashtag. And you, yeah, and, you're, uh, and here's a song by Alicia Keys. No one hashtag. <laughs> Underscore. Listen to Get Serial on Sin 90.7 FM with Andrew, Liam and Jeff. Guys, I was uh, having to think to myself because... Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, no, I, I put some, Congratulations. Uh, no, I, put, I put some Barry White on. How was that? It was Barry great. White. I put some Barry White on. Agent. Huh? A real estate agent. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a real estate agent. <laughs> I think back, it is. <laughs> you just leave back in a chair and say, you know... Put on, put, on, put on, lots of incense, just, just <laughs> lie back and say, here, here, the, put on the, the relaxing music saying... You know, Do you want your home home, Jeeve? Lovely Only five minutes away from the train station. <laughs> Beautiful. Renovator's dream. <laughs> Wow. Well, imagine you're a renovator. <laughs> and then you want, imagine that you're a, cu- a young couple with kids and you're looking for somewhere you need near a good school and, and not far from work. Mmm, yeah. baby. <laughs> with a two story garage. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What were we talking about again? I can't remember. Oh, <laughs> you were thinking to yourself. I'm thinking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. And then so much so that that was happening again now. But <laughs> He's listening to Barry White. Listen to Barry White, yeah. And then I thought I was listening, I was thinking about when I was a kid. I used to have some weird habits when I was a kid. Like, I, this is the truth, I used to chew on my skin. Fun. Just to chew on my skin. Oh, I'm so mispresenting with you. <laughs> <laughs> this, is what, this is what we used to do in the old kids. Alright, so what, what were you doing? Like, Chewing on your skin. Yeah, I used to like to taste my skin for some reason when I was about uh, 12 years old. Um, I used to do something weirder until I was like three years old, and my mum still has to remind me of this. You know how like, you know how parents love to remind you about embarrassing stuff you used to do. Yeah. Yeah. I used to eat hair. You used to eat yeah. hair? I used you to eat hair. hair. Like swallow it? Yeah. Where? What kind? Of, where'd you get the hair from? The ground. I, don't think, I think that's grass, son. You know that really green, long... It's green, long. My dad cuts it once a month. <laughs> that's pretty grass is the hair of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was really deep. That was, that was beautiful. That was good. We should stitch that on a pillow. <laughs> that, should, that should go on our underscore t-shirts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lead back and listen to some Barry White while you're talking about it. <laughs> um, but wait, wait. Are you, like, you're just random hair. Yeah, you know, there'll be someone's hair in the carpet. I'll be like picking up it in my mouth. I don't know. He wasn't I was a, in heaven going to a barbershop. <laughs> <laughs> right, time to up this hair. Wait, where do I go? Wait. <laughs> he's just showed up on his doorstep as a kid, and you know, said, oh, you know, I had to say it. This is O'Grady. I'm afraid he's, I'm afraid he's been at the barber again. <laughs> get get, get inside, the- Liam. Uh, I'm oh. sorry about this, fellas. <laughs> Maybe like the, the moment from leaving the tramp with the spaghetti. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Eating hair. Did you put anything on the hair? Oh, a bit of salt. You know. <laughs> no, I don't even know why. I, I can't even remember it, but my mum loves to remind me that I used to do it. He's just come up here, balls. <laughs> <laughs> Still copy them up. Yeah. I'm not concerned about both. Like, you're, 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 I didn't actually. I didn't cut my skin off and eat it. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. With a knife and fork. Like where are these stitches from? My skin. <laughs> I don't know. So you that you've got a skin graft under your arm. Oh yeah, but uh, no. Did, different bits. Oh, I can't believe I'm asking this on breakfast radio. Did, bits of. The bits of, uh, uh, there you go, you can hear me now. Yeah, I was going to say, this is the same. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't eat for a while. I was like, what's up with this? <laughs> oh, um, the bits of your skin. No, I, used to, I didn't bite it off. I used to just oh. kind of like, have you seen people who used to like chew in their hair? Like that used to be an old habit. Oh, yeah, now. the females, do, yeah, now yeah, I used like, to have It's like, it's like oh, a girl, yeah. girl, girl with long hair used to chew their hair. It's like yeah. that. Okay. I used to chew on my skin. That's what I used to do. Fair enough. But how do you chew on your skin? I mean, what, like, you can't well, show you. Well, <laughs> well you, put, you put the skin in your mouth, you put the skin in your mouth and you just chew on it. Not, not hard enough to break it, but you know, just. Oh, I'm going to put that on social media. Yeah, why not? That's something that people need to see right. when they're eating it their was, breakfast. It was a popular, yeah. Well, enjoy your bacon. <laughs> enjoy your bacon. Here's, my, here's Jeff chewing on his skin. <laughs> uh, uh, no, it used to be a thing in my school. A lot of people hmm. used to have that habit. No one bit nails at my school. No one used to bite their nails. 
it was that thing. <laughs> it just wasn't done. Because <laughs> biting nails is d- 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 disgusting to me. Yeah. I, I think, I think that's, oh, I, I bite my nails all the time. Yeah, that's my, that's my bad habit. Body, yeah. I hate listening to it. I hate seeing it. It's, just, it's disgusting. I, I hate know. people cracking their na- knuckles. That, oh, yeah. Everyone oh, actually, I can't hear that on a... Re- I can't hear someone cracking their knuckles on a recording, but if someone's sitting next to me, it's not that bad. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, cause I, the, the things like that don't bother me. I don't mind people. I crack my knuckles, but it's... Yeah, that's probably my bad. Yeah, I, I do it to my, I do it, and I'm fine. But when other yeah. people do it, I'm just like, Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds oh, yeah. a bit too much like a spinal column, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 I used to have this friend I used to go to the watch footy with, and he has this habit that used to irritate me. It was this weird kind of beatboxing sound thing he used to do with his mouth. I used to do it all the time, and it used to irritate the hell out of me. You can imagine this. Imagine sitting at the footy or sitting at the movies, and all you're yeah. hearing is, <laughs> like, just hearing what? that. For 20 minutes on end. He was a subwoofer. Oh, probably, yeah. <laughs> Actually, oh. I've got two. And um, so I've got a friend who's a loud chore. The yeah, oh, I hate oh. that. Oh, no, and I, I think that. I'm the only one that knows it. And he lives in China now. So, yeah, Suraj is a very loud chore. Just putting his name out there. <laughs> he's, in China, he's in China, but you can still hear him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, probably. <laughs> um, and then, I have, then I have a friend and my little brother, yeah. both of them. They don't have a movie voice. You know when you're in a movie mm. and then someone's like, yeah. you're like, Oh, is that um, Will Smith? They're yeah. like, is that Will Smith over there? <laughs> I don't think it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, my dad, my dad's allowed, my dad's allowed chore. Really? But I, I get, I get through it by just doing little silent yeah. jokes to my brother and sister. <laughs> like, just what's what, like the other day, my dad was eating like cereal, yeah. and then he was making this very loud. Oh, it was. Yeah, how can I explain? It's like walking on bubble, bubble wrap. Like that's yeah. what it sounds like. Uh, and then yeah, you know, it has, doesn't that make you angry just hearing about well, it? Well, and because yeah. usually when we we went to his house, because what we went to high school together in Epping. Yeah. And then me and him both moved to Werribee, went to two different schools. Mm. So when we all hanged out together, the, like the four of us. Yeah. And I'm thinking there while he's eating, going. Mm. Thinking, am I the only one that knows this? <laughs> yeah. Like, you don't want to say anything, but, you know, just yeah. like, everyone knows. <laughs> Apparently, it's a medical condition. Really? Where you can't stand the people, the sound of people chewing. What, is it, yeah, like, like, it's, it's, it's a medical it's, condition to chew loudly or to not, to not, to not like, like it? Oh. To not, like, it's like a mental type. Like, it's a, there's a name for it. It's annoying because <laughs> you can hear him chew. I don't, because I don't, I don't really know. So, I mean, you, you could have the loudest chew in the world and I don't, like, people say he's chewing loudly. And I'm oh, like, but it's one of those things where you notice and you notice. If you don't yeah, notice it, you'll yeah. never notice it. But once yeah. someone points it out to you, it's like, you shut, up, shut, up, yeah. shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I think that really annoys me people. I don't know if this is so much a habit, it's a faux pas. But people who sort of stand and, you know, get in the way and don't sort of. Stand in doorways. Like, there's people I think that actively enjoy standing in doorways. <laughs> yeah, that's their long life. Yeah. <laughs> they've been paid James, as a, do- act as a door. So, James, you're uh, 15 now. Have you put any thought into your career? Well, I love to stare in doorways. <laughs> just, I love standing. If I could make that's money. That's my girl, the standing doorways. <laughs> I make 40 bucks an hour standing in doorways. <laughs> <laughs> and I work for five hours a day. <laughs> to awkwardly lay, delay people. Not enough that it's like, to st- not to completely stop them. <laughs> just to sort of make it too embarrassing. Not enough to ask them to move. I hate slow walkers. Oh yes, I cannot stand I'm slow, slow walker. walker. Slow I'm walkers. a slow walker. No, like, you never, there's never an excuse for that. Like, I mean, no, obviously, exactly. some of the well, there is an excuse, son. It's called appreciating nature. <laughs> That's your excuse. Appreciating nature. You can appreciate it a bit faster though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Like, oh, you know, that brick that you're looking at isn't going to get any. It isn't going to be any nice. I like appreciated nature as well. <laughs> but like, man, if, if the rain, how fast? Yeah, I've, I've walked with you before. And it, and yeah, and you bolt downstairs. Yeah, yeah. I I'm am like, fast well, do I walker. Smell that? Like, <laughs> why is he running? <laughs> uh, it's hopeless. We can never walk together because I'm a fast walker and he's a slow walker. Yeah. So it's like so different. What are you doing next week? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, what you, oh, right. you Do you want to go fuck off? Uh, yeah, so it's yeah. It's um, what about when you're on an escalator and there's two people? So you know how the oh, one side of people that oh, go just stand, yeah. and there's two people. I and, feel like oh. I'm turning into my mother when I <laughs> like. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, just, you don't want to order beer, but yeah, people like that. Yeah, people saying that. Um, saying my doorway phobia extends to that. Yeah, and escalators and stairs, people just stand there, have no so thought or. You know, um, compassion for anyone else, consideration for people trying to get past. Oh, I told this to Jeff a few weeks a few weeks ago when I was at the Mikey station, and there's a woman typing up her Mikey on her phone. She was like texting uh, while she's there. Yeah. I don't know about you, but that's the worst thing in the history yeah. of anything. No, you know what's worse than that? <laughs> typing up your Mikey with a credit card. Oh no! Yeah. But you have to. If you have to do, I do that. It's if irritating, you have to do, but like you didn't have two bucks to put in your Mikey. Yeah. No, no, I don't. <laughs> and we're gonna be late for my train, and someone's like putting in their pin, and it's like, oh, my credit card's not working. No, <laughs> but then that's probably the same person who has like just a whole lot of twenties and fifty cents just. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you don't want to spend eight. It's actually yeah. quicker to do that than just put all the all the all the plunder they rob from Spanish castles <laughs> in the in the machines. Yeah, and at least as well, at least that doesn't get in the way. Like. 
people you are the people that stop in their mic here that that do not so much people that like can't if it doesn't work it's fine obviously but yeah people that text and stuff in the mic barriers you know you know what i do though because i don't like when people are on their phones and they walk i don't like that so what mm. i do was i i deliberately get in their way <laughs> just to kind of prove a listen <laughs> okay. like i just tie my run to to get right into them to really like like hip and shoulder on <laughs> like, have you seen what? when like you're walking someone on a cliff <laughs> whoops yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, ladies walking past there take that I just go, I just go I'm like, walking like, frame or no walking frame yeah I just I, I like oh there they are right 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 bang and I'm like oh sorry oh. and they go no it's fine and I'm like well now they've learned to listen to not be on the phone <laughs> you know what I do because before when I change my song on my phone if I want to send it yeah. to I go to the side I sit on the, I sit on the like, side of a wall and then see well, but you're, the but see, yeah, you're a slow good. walker you don't care about T- um, yeah. ma- t- wasting time. <laughs> yeah, I want to get the A to B in the quick time as possible. Yeah. So if I'm on my phone, meh. I know. <laughs> like you never. There's no. There's never a time to walk. So like, I, obviously, walk for leisure is great. But like, uh, what is yeah, it tired? There's no, there's no, but walking slowly. Yeah, but yeah. But then sit down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, uh. speaking of songs, uh, we better put this. This we better. We were talking about songs, but that's a good segue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hypothetically, if we're talking about songs, it's a good time to go to one, don't you reckon? Yeah, yeah well, I think it's a fantastic time. <laughs> definitely. You're listening to Get Serial on Sin 9.7 FM. This is Get Serial on Sin 90.7 FM with Liam, Andrew and Jeff. Uh, who's been on Facebook lately? What's what? Facebook? Facebook, it's a social media thing. What's social, social media? I've never heard of it. talking thing. What's talking? Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> what you're doing right now. What's a thing? <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> so where is where am I? <laughs> what is life? <laughs> This is actually wow. we don't we only exist for the radio. We we like we don't we're not human beings. We just cease to exist after the show. Yeah, like we, we vanish. Yeah, we're AI. We're like Siri in that. We're just the AI <laughs> voice. <laughs> so, so, sorry, I cannot find that song <laughs> <laughs> because I don't understand the meaning of that. <laughs> so, Guys, there, there was a radio. There, there was a radio show uh, with Andrew Lee and Jeff, but they died like thirty years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're the ghosts that once. <laughs> <laughs> we're the, we're yeah. the ghosts of of, of Jeff. since past. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, no. so yes, this Facebook thing, that's Facebook thing that I heard recently become popular. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I can't get that. <laughs> anyway, yes, this, um, um, this, this yes. Facebook thing that became popular, yes. Yes, um, there's this meme, you know, you know what memes are? Yes, yeah. They're you, good. Know, I still, you know, for the first like couple of years that they were being made, I still called memes. Mem. I love there's a shirt. It's it's meme, not mem. Yeah, that's a good line. <laughs> Who's a police anyway? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get arrested. Don't uh, make a spelling mistake on social media. Exactly. Oh yeah. god. My my status is I just spelling uh, mistakes. Really? No, nothing else. Yeah, I know. You put up, you, you, the only thing that you do on Facebook is you share all those uh, those facts and then you like you like discredit them. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's basically all you do on Facebook. Yeah, this is like, true. So I, I like a I like a Facebook page on uh, it's called Interesting Facts yeah. or something like that. And so what I do is I share them and I just just say why they're not true. <laughs> well, Daphne, talking about not true facts before we get to the yeah. memes. Yeah. Um, you know when our Lord and Saviour President Trump got elected. Uh-oh. Well, he's not my Lord and Saviour. <laughs> oh, no, neither is my. No, but um, you know how they, even like, he's a um, Lord and all something. the TV shows showed there was a scene from The Simpsons where you see Trump. Yeah. They're like, oh, this is uncanny. This is from 2000. <clears throat> yeah. The scene they actually showed was from 2015 when um, he announced he's running for president. Simpsons did a skit about it. Yeah, it was really fresh. Yeah. Even though everyone didn't do their research, um, the only time they mentioned him was in an episode in 2000 where Lisa, who is president at the yeah. time, goes... Oh, our it, our economy has really suffered since President Trump. Yeah, yeah only yeah. mentioned him becoming president, so the media really stuffed up there. Yeah, well, yeah. We, good job for bringing it back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, 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 just bringing the facts, face the facts, you know. The Simpsons, yeah, and thank goodness I can start to watch the Simpsons again after yeah. that little. Inter- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, actually, and everyone, you're right. Everyone was going absolutely hyper about it, and I must admit, I did because I saw they put that episode on, I think, deliberately about a week before the election, so that everyone could see it and think, oh gosh. And I saw it, and I was thinking, yeah, that is disturbingly close. But you're right, it was. But um, even the image, country. even the image they showed, and I looked at it the first time I saw, it, I'm like, that doesn't look like 2000 cartoon. Yeah, no, that looks yeah. much. Much, much more clear than it looked like in the 2000s. Yeah. Yeah. So they just edited it in after... Oh, no, it was, uh, it was, yeah, it was after he ran for president. They yeah. reenact the whole thing of him running for president. Wow. Yeah. yeah. 
So okay. yes, so back to you, Jeff. Just, I'll let you have your time bef- now. Before we get back to two, oh, no, can sorry, I, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> like, if we, if this is like a road. If this is like the Murray Darling Basin. So the Murray is the main thing that we're talking about memes. That you, we just went off on the side, which is like the Murrumbidgee, and then we just went off on like Cooper's Creek. There, I'm getting back to the Murrumbidgee before we get to the main. Anyway, um, <laughs> time is money. Um, <laughs> anyway, just just I just want to quickly read out some of these you commented on these facts. <laughs> It's like, all right, it, um, all right, it, it, all right, here's one. Like, this is from, a, I won't name the site, but it's from a site that says, Crippius, an ancient Athenian philosopher, died from laughing at one of his own jokes. And then you just, <laughs> you just faithfully shared it and said, I'm going out like this. <laughs> <laughs> this the, screw the other segment, let's just do this for you, Tiger. How many likes it's got? How much? None. Oh. <laughs> and he also wow. Said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like it for you, Jeff. Oh, thank you, brother. I'm going to give it the love heart. I'm actually going to love it. Oh, thank you. And then you said, another one was a person with the damage of the right brain hemisphere can a develop a joke addiction a compulsive need to constantly make and tell jokes and then you just shared it and said I've got to see a doctor ASAP <laughs> anyway <laughs> so that's what you do with, with Facebook Jeff but what do most people do <laughs> Oh, you know what? You just do the segment. I can't be bothered anymore. Oh, actually, speaking of that, have you ever liked a page like just saying 2010 and it's like meant to be a joke page then after a while they run out of material and they just share useless links um, like listen, oh my god yeah. I can't yeah. believe this, and it's like, yeah, yeah I'm like, so the the new meme that's sweeping the nation is yeah. the Kermit the Frog meme. Have oh. any of you seen it? No, I haven't. You you were mentioned it before, and I can't believe I missed it. But you yeah. must not have been online. No, no, I, I, I mean, uh, yeah, but yeah, what is it? Exactly Kermit the Frog meme? It's obviously Kermit the Frog from yes, the Muppets. Yes, it's Kermit the Frog. I'm guessing it's off an episode of. On, of of Berg's backyard. I can't remember what, what the Kermit the Frog off. Muppet. Is it? Muppet. That's it. Like, oh. What's the Garden in Australia? Oh. Um, what is the Bachelor Rest. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, so it's Kermit the Frog. Yeah, anyway. And yeah. um, it's like the the you and it's like we'll do example. Oh, I've got to go to bed early. I have a six a.m. radio show and in a me stay up to two. <laughs> <laughs> why does the feather Kermit? Like, why does Kermit the Frog? I, Dictate I, I, any influence on that thing, though. Like, I haven't seen the episode where he's... But yeah, it's two Kermit the Frog. One's in a cloak, so one's yeah. evil. Uh, and then uh, one's normal. And he's got that popular... Even, like, football teams are doing... Uh, Port Adelaide did it. Yeah. Um, their football team did it. It's like, oh, we should give him the day off in a... Whatever his name is. Yeah. Make him run harder. Um, there's a Brett Lee one, which was funny. Oh, yeah. I think... I, 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 I saw it, There's a lot of Brett, meme, Brett, Brett Lee memes. Yeah, I like the Brett Lee memes. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when mum goes out and buys the one kilo... Um, we big pack, but you wanted the 1.4. <laughs> 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 when your mate says he does more week picks than you, but you know who does the Tana brand. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good one. That's a, uh. I actually do like memes are good to have. Yeah. Oh, like, but do you know memes are now videos? They're more videos and photos? Oh, yeah, that's true. My, yeah. my little sister, who's 16, told me, she's like, didn't you know that memes are now videos? Oh, my God. And then you responded with, no, honey, I have a life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I partly looked at her, I'm like, who are you? Excuse me, I'm just going to go back to controlling some air traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And then, you know, the, the news tonight, um, Prime, Minister, Prime Minister Liam <laughs> stopped his duties to take a call with his sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, about, about the well-being of memes. <laughs> and he left his wife for not, and all you hear is, one more, one more, ladies and gentlemen, and he goes in the back and he goes, yeah, what do you want? Give me right now. I'm the country. And this is saying that turns it nowadays, memes are videos. Oh, Tommy, what are you doing right now? Yeah, put down an underscore for a minute. I'd love to be the Prime Minister getting yelled at by your mum. God, mum, I'm trying to run a country. <laughs> what make, do you make... mean you crash the economy? <laughs> oh, my God, just let me do it, mum. <laughs> the New Melbourne. Zealand Prime Minister's like, you know, mum. Oh, that's assuming they're brothers. <laughs> mum, the, mom, the American president's talking. I don't care what the American president's doing. <laughs> Malcolm, Mel, yeah, mum. If Donald Trump dropped off the cliff, would you jump with him? <laughs> would you jump with him? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so what did I say? Do not crash the economy, God! <laughs> 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 Imagine if that was true. He had like the UN, and it's like Malcolm's home, and was like, Malcolm, go clean your room. No, I'm playing PlayStation. <laughs> no, you can't play PlayStation. <laughs> I want an Xbox anyway. The New Zealand president had the, the New Zealand prime minister had an Xbox. <laughs> it's not the same, Mum. <laughs> you did, uh, is that is that a is that a nuclear submarine you're building there? Yeah. Oh, what have I told you about that? <laughs> uh, I don't want I'm you going around hanging out with those, the North Koreans. <laughs> 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 bad news, I'm telling you. 
Oh, Three hell. Yeah. This escalated very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> that was fought with danger from the beginning. Um, uh, and you crossed the line now. What happened with what? America? They used to be a nice young boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Grow want you mom. hanging around America anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. We'll be with more, we'll have more <laughs> after this song break. You listen to Get Serial on Sin 90.7. Listen to Get Serial on Sin 90.7 FM with Andrew Nathan and. Oh no, Andrew Lehman Jeff, that was the old track. Yeah, yeah. Andrew Lehman Jeff. Sorry. Good job, good job. No worries, mate. So let's talk about. So we uh, the Americans got a new president. They do? They do. Oh, I haven't heard the yeah, action. Heard yeah, no. well, it's a sort. Bit, bit under wraps. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I heard it was very quiet, it actually. It very well. Yeah. 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 It wasn't really broadcasted correctly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, it didn't take over the world for no. like a full few months. No, no, I was at work. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I was sleeping. No, but, uh, <laughs> um, apparently, apparently, what I've heard was this guy, I can't remember, he came out of nowhere, he's a nobody, I've never heard this guy before, Donald um, Trump. Donald, yeah. Donald. Donald uh, Trump, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Um... J. Trump. Yeah, yeah, MJ Trump. Um, let's put his government... What do you think his government's going to be like? <laughs> um, I'll t- head of security- can, I, can I tell you off air? <laughs> yeah, head of security, Chuck Norris, I reckon. <laughs> now, this is going to work, right? America's going to go to war for some reason we don't understand. But they're going to go to war, right? They're they gonna- don't go to war. Nah. That's but- not America. Nah, that's not them. <laughs> they're peace and love. <laughs> yeah, peace, yeah, yeah. You got, you got, you got uh, an army on one side... Who's going up against them? America. Who's America? Chuck Norris on his own. He's gonna he's gonna raise Daisy Daisy Chain production by forty five percent. Now you also I think we should also get Liam Neeson then. Liam Neeson. Yeah, he had a special mm. set of skills. Yeah. Well, one of them's uh, making a mean roast, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's actually one of his set of skills. He goes after. Don't, don't mess with his family, or else he won't put some uh, rosemary <laughs> on <laughs> on your chicken. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. What's rosemary? <laughs> I think it's a seasoning. <laughs> it's the sort of thing that Chuck Norris would use. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then we'll just get Morgan Freeman to narrate it. <laughs> yeah. There's a war going on. There's a war going on. <laughs> and people are like, it's so peaceful. Yeah. That will make me. That will um, make me have you seen t- um, Ted? Yes. Oh, yes. With the one with Morgan Freeman in it. Wait, what movie is that? Oh, I think it's the second one. Oh, okay. And he's like, yeah, have you um, have you done any girls up here? What do you think? I think I want to lay in a in a bed full of your voice. Yeah, how beautiful is his voice? <laughs> oh, I, see, I get to sleep listening to his voice. It's just so beautiful. Have you seen the Morgan Freeman video? Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. No, I've never seen that. I would love to have Morgan Freeman. The, you... the sun rises just to hear Morgan Freeman talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, so, anyway, it's the top of the hour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, so what's coming up? So we got more jokes, I guess. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes, we've got lots of stuff happening on Get Serial coming up. This is the 22nd, 33rd of November. See how to go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, talking about Donald Trump, talking about Liam Neeson, talking about uh, American politics, talking about um, true, true, true. Talking about your generation. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. Just nothing but talking about your generation. We'll just say every song after this yeah. is talking about your generation, by the who. Yeah. Um, but it is no substitute um, for. Can you t- can you please interject? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, uh, we worked together so long that I was hoping I was sort of hoping that you knew when I was stumbling. Yeah, and you'd yeah. Be able so to I don't know. I thought you were going somewhere with this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was giving you that wanton look. <laughs> last time I got please the... put me out of my misery. <laughs> last time I'm I trying got... to get the get sealed theme up here and it's disappeared. Last time I got I got that. Uh, uh... We went off air for about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get us some get sealed theme. Ready? So let's start the top of yeah. Come on, ready? Okay. Yeah. Hello, you're listening to Get Serial on Sin 9.7 FM here with Liam, Jeff and Andrew. We're filling in for Maya uh, and Tash um, this, this 23rd of November 2016. We will be giving you all the latest breakfast chat. We'll be interviewing the head of the Japanese Film Festival in a little bit. Before then and after then, we'll be giving you all the latest conversational stuff. We'll be telling you what's been in the news. We'll be telling you what's been in American politics. We'll be talking about Liam Neeson and things to do with him. We'll be talking about breakfast. We'll be talking about Brexit. Speaking of the Brexit, mate. We're talking about how Brexit is affecting breakfast. Yeah, and that's it. All that and more chat on Sin 90.7 FM with Get Serial. Sin 90.7. You're listening to Get Serial on Sin 90.7 FM uh, with, with uh, I, was, I was about to say Nathan as well, with yeah. Jeff and uh, Liam. Uh, it is the 23rd of November and it's currently 7 sure 22nd? So it, it could be the 22nd. 22nd. It could be the <laughs> it's the 22nd. Today. Is anyone listening in either America or Tonga or New Zealand or somewhere in that sort of. Um, New of... Zealand's ahead of us. 
Yeah, actually, so they heard the show already. Yeah. Is it still Wednesday, New Zealand, or they moved on to Thursday? Yeah, I know that. It's just so. If you're from New Zealand, give us a call. I think New Zealand's only. I think they're an hour ahead of us. Oh. Yeah, because um, Perth is three hours. Yeah, three hours behind yeah. us. That great, that, great that content. <laughs> you must not. You, Adelaide are two. Um, no, no, Adelaide Adelaide's one. an hour and a half. My mum's in Darwin at the moment, which is the same time zone yeah. as Adelaide. It's an hour and a half over hour there. Half. So it's only it's just the show's not even started over there. Mm. <laughs> Gosh, the poor people. Yeah. I know. Um, I, I want to let me just get up um, New Zealand. Does that actually mean that our Perth listeners have to start at what? I don't know. To get up at six. I mean, um, Wellington, it's nine thirteen a.m. So they're two hours ahead of us. Yeah. Um, no, in Perth, if they turn, if they had this channel, yeah. if they could get the Melbourne channel, it would be this. There wouldn't be a time difference. No, but it would be. But currently, at the moment, it's it's only four thirteen there. You know, well, uh, that's early. I'm sorry, Perth listeners. Thank you for making the commitment. No, no worries. Uh, <laughs> 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 All the Perth listeners just sing out there. No, that's fine. <laughs> Do you guys like irritating people? You guys oh, like yeah, it's oh right. you have no idea. Yeah, because I thought I thought of a, yesterday. I thought of a, a really fun way of uh, yeah. irritating people. Just talk like tell a story like an old man. Try that. Have you tried that before? Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go money. Well, I already do. No, no. It's like this, right? You got this. Back in my day. No. So what you do is this you. So you go. So this. <laughs> that sounds like Captain Kieran forty years. <laughs> so last night, I last night I was watching the Bonanza. And then I got a phone call from Andrew. And Andrew says, he says, he says, you, can you host the radio show? And I said, sure, that would be amazing. So then the next morning, I wake up at 4.50 in the morning, and I, uh, I, I wake up the rooster. That's what I did. So I wake up, and I catch the uh, 4.59 train, and I thought to myself, wouldn't it be nice to have a cup of joe? Now, a cup of joe, we called the cup of joe when I was a kid, not a cup of coffee, because the guy who made the coffee was named Joe. <laughs> <laughs> joe was a nice fella. Um, do, you all, do you base all your old people on George Carlin? Yeah. <laughs> the only issue is with that, you're not take, you got to take more pauses. It's like... So, I woke up at 4 o'clock, and... Um, <laughs> I took the train Because that's sexy <laughs> Back then it used to be called the rail <laughs> yeah, because, Before they invented the train Because we used to, we used to have to go on the train <laughs> Flintstone style <laughs> For years they just had the rail And then someone thought Damn we should put something on those tracks <laughs> yeah. oh, well, We should just walk yeah. But I don't know oh. I can't wait to be on I can't wait Even when, like, even if my hearing's perfect I'm going to be deaf <laughs> <laughs> just select, you can, you well, can, you can you selectively know? hear, can't you, Beck? Selectively yeah. hear when you're that, that age. No, yeah. I irritated a friend yesterday for like a solid 10 minutes just doing that. What, just, telling, about, just telling a story for I, 15 I, minutes. I'll, I'll be with so much about the voice, though. It's all about the way you tell the story as well. Like, but you know, I, yeah. I want to be like the... What was it? I want cereal. What? You want Muriel? <laughs> I'll get rid of Muriel. <laughs> <That's a> Muriel. <laughs> that reminds me of a story back in the good old days. <laughs> it's all about the details. Like you look yeah. at you look at you know, I, I mean I mean, went to, I, had, I had to go and pick up a book from the library. Yeah. And, Sorry, um, what's, a, know, what's, a, what's a what's a book? Yeah, because it's, it's a sort of it's a it's a a, a sort of a, a piece of um of bind paper that t- contained with words. Oh, okay. And and you know you know Heather you know Heather Robertson. Yeah, she's um, she's uh, Muriel Robertson's daughter. Remember the one that um, used to used to um, you used to go to her place when you were in when you were little, and her daughter anyway said, "Oh look, I can drive you to the uh, I can drive you to the library." <laughs> um, and and Muriel said, uh, and Heather said, "No, it's fine." And I and I didn't want her coming all the way over because she does <laughs> she lives you know down in Caulfield and and so and I said and she's like, "No, no, it's fine." She said, "It's fine, I can come over." And so anyway, I am um, and this will be all this will all be you know the story of um this will be the story of the Cuban missile crisis <laughs> <laughs> do you get that joke Liam it's a history joke <laughs> <laughs> thank you for those good anyway carry on so yes so just do that for about 10 minutes to your friend and see how long it takes for him to crack my friend 10 minutes that was it or do the, um, the Jim Carrey from Dumb and Dumber the, the annoying sound in the world oh, what was that one <laughs> <laughs> that's the fun and it's not that it's not that hard to do you just gotta sound like this is the greatest story on earth but really you're just talking about how you just got new shoes <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I went to the shoe shop on uh, Collins Street and I walked in there and I said sir can I get you one of your finest leather boots and I said how much are those leather boots and he said they're five quid and I was like sorry sir I only have two quid <laughs> and he goes <laughs> he said sir sorry he goes I'll give it for you you know what sir you seem like a nice guy I'll give it for you for two quid 
quid. And I was like, well, that will just be amazing if you could give it to me for two quid. It will be, be sensational. So I bought the shoe, and then the girl was like, hey, what are you doing tonight? And I was like, oh, I might go get some dinner. And he goes, what time will you get that dinner? And I said, uh, eight o'clock, and I'll tell you what, I might get some pancakes as well. Or as my mother used to call them, flapjacks. And then he goes, what time will we get those flapjacks? And I said, eight o'clock. He said, eight o'clock's not good, that's when the news is on. But that's at like, some point. Talking you about right, that is annoying. <laughs> Talking about annoying people, I have to give, give my girlfriend... <laughs> I think I give my girlfriend Amanda all the credit in the world. We've yeah. been together for over two years now. I think I've aged Aww. her like 20 years. Mm-mm. I've done her head in you so much. You two should throw so die. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can. Uh, two years, I think you should ask her out. Uh, Jim, Jim, I think these two have a crush on each other. <laughs> hey, Amanda, you Amanda, aged Amanda 20 years. sitting in a tree. <laughs> Know, just doing, I'm just yeah, sitting on a tree, trying to throw gum nuts out of koalas. <laughs> apparently, I can be a wee bit annoying. The RSPCA fined us for animal abuse. So anyway, you aged for 20 years. I'm sure it's not just whenever she's read around Jeff, it's just like, at the next few years. <laughs> yeah, apparently, I'm a bit annoying. I can get on I can get on some people's nerves. Apparently, I tell some inappropriate jokes. Oh, you I, do that every day. I, I, I don't true. know, but you know, <laughs> well, I've never done the old man. Oh, actually, I have. I've done the back of my day, young Mac. whippersnappers. <laughs> get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where do you go from here? <laughs> just, I think this is this is what they tell us in radio training. Just go to a song when you see a lull in the conversation. There we go. And you listen to Get Serial on Sin 90.7 FM with Andrew Jeff and Liam. Go listen to Get Serial on Sin 90.7 FM here uh, on Sin 90.7 FM November the 23rd um, with Jeff and uh, Liam and Andrew. Um, it is currently 7.28. Is it? Wow, we made it almost an hour and a half. half oh. Almost an hour, almost halfway through the show. Yeah. Almost. You've still got more than half of the show to go, guys. Oh, man. Oh. Isn't that good? And it is currently also... Um, we don't have the temperature. But anyway... It oh, I think, oh, that's my favourite 11 temperature. degrees. I love it when it's... I don't you, know. 11 degrees. Oh, wow. Anyway. That's the sign. That was, that's in a Paul Kelly song, isn't it? Leaves he, and Bounds. He's Paul Kelly. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> So this is the time for our segment that we used to do on the old season three get cereal. Some say less. the better get cereal. <laughs> oh, not many, not, many, not many people say that, but some do. <laughs> back, when, <laughs> back when yours truly was the producer. A few <laughs> deluded and bribed people say that. Wait, yeah. wait, I wasn't the producer. What are you guys on about? <laughs> so, oh. Back when we used to do it with Nathan. Anyway, oh, Nathan. those days are gone. Um, and we're here to fill in for Maya and Tash and Ben um, and and... Do you get cereal? And we, it's time for, anyway, one of our old segments, two truths, one lie. It's one lie, one, one lie, truth. One truth. You always do that. <laughs> well, because it used to be two truths, one lie, and then we It makes sense, two truths, one lie. It makes yeah. sense. It's much, yeah. Do you want to do two truths? No, I no, only got, I, only got I, one. I found it struggling oh, thinking okay. of my, my first lie. So. Fair enough. All okay, right. so I'll start us off? Yeah, sounds good. Sure, so my first truth is that I uh, used to play baseball, and then I threw the, the bat, like, left my hand one time, and it accidentally, like, hit a girl in the leg. I did that once. Did that, you? That's true for me, yeah. I did actually... I, did, I, play, I used oh. to play baseball. I don't think it hit a girl. I think it hit one of the training blokes, one of the Wait, guys Wait, is that this that... You, I thought you'd say two things, and we have to guess if it's no, a it's, triple lie. Yeah, yeah, but it's, just a whole, it's a whole bit we're doing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> I, I, I'll stay quiet. Yeah, okay, so we'll, 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 we'll guide you through it. So that's my first truth. <laughs> yeah. My second truth is one time uh, in a bar, threw my accident in knocked the toilet roll into the toilet like a whole toilet roll yeah. and I didn't want to like fish it out so I just flushed the whole toilet roll down the toilet oh that's wasteful well I didn't want to grab it like we're not going to use it no afterwards. but you can put it in the bin though. it's more about what it, the kind of damage it does to the um, toilet well it's, it's one toilet so <laughs> it's one toilet oh then it doesn't matter let <laughs> it just, got, it's on its own hashtag, it's on its own hashtag toilet got, lives matter <laughs> <laughs> we still oh, got warranty that's dark oh. um yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It's like we forget to call the plumber. What happened? Oh, well, there's a toilet. A, a toilet roll fell in, and I was too, um, I was too, uh, too lazy to fish it out. So well, I just flushed I the like... whole thing. Do you do that with most? Does, if anything falls in the toilet, I'm actually outraged by it. Is that does that mean like an anvil fell in the toilet? You try and flush that. Yes. Well, oh. Why wouldn't you? Gosh. <laughs> anyway, so there's my two. Good. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say I, I, you, that's both the things that I reckon you do. Um, well, I remember earlier this year we did the same kind of thing, and Jeff said that he's never played sport, so Ooh. that's why I think the toilet paper thing will be the truth. Mm, I might, except I just don't know if it would fit. Like I don't want to visualise it too much. <laughs> sorry, sorry, just 
Oh, no, I'm not going to ask my, 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 my mind that worked there. <laughs> you use logic, I just used size. <laughs> the laws of time and space. Um, hang on, what did, what did, um, what did, what did, where were you playing? Uh, baseball? Yeah. I was in school sports when I was in primary school, and I was about 11 years old. Where were you playing? We were playing at the local park next to our school, because we didn't actually have a, we didn't actually have an oval in our school, we only had a basketball court. I think it was a lie, because I don't think Jeff was ever 11 years old, he's always been an old man. <laughs> so. he, says, he just skipped 11, he went from 12 and then to 14. Yeah. No, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> but yeah, so I think the first one was a lie. Okay. I'm going to say this, the second one is a lie. I'm going to say the first one's true. So you've got a split. Well, the first one isn't true. The second one is true. Oh, really? You yeah. flushed it entirely hey, hey, the I, yeah. I know you. I just... No, I actually do play sport. You uh, said you never played sport when in your life. When did I say that? On the start of the year when we did this thing in class. It's probably a joke. <laughs> you're like, I played volleyball for my school. Oh, yeah, you're I like, did oh, play yeah. You're like, I've never wow. played sport. You no, know, I, I was in a little cross team as well. <laughs> volleyball and baseball wait, wait, are very wait. different sports. Wait, were you that rich? I'll be worried if you're playing volleyball and I'll still play, my... I see you I'll play the crossroad. <laughs> <laughs> I have a trophy. I'll show the trophy when I can. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah, I won an award. Yeah. I'd be so worried if you were like if you were playing volleyball and you still managed to hit someone with a baseball bat. <laughs> be the, the... I did. <laughs> so where did that come hard. from? <laughs> Stop night. Wait, would you? Um, <laughs> it's so true. I, I flushed a whole toilet roll of paper down the toilet. The other day, the other day, a, um, a Creedence Clearwater roll. You know, Willie and the Poor Boys by Creedence Clearwater. Nah. It's on a. It, it came. Okay, forget. Well, imagine you know, it's got a song on it called "It Came Out of the Sky." Yeah. Do you know that one? Nah. And the other day, I just saw it fall off the shelf. I don't know where it came from. <laughs> so it's like it actually came out of the sky. <laughs> anyway, there's a story for you. <laughs> now, my two truth truths. Do you want me to do it or do we ready to go? I'll or? go. I'll go. No worries. Okay. <clears throat> Damn. So, my first truth is yeah. um, when I was a kid, a little kid, I ate a whole stick of glue. <laughs> that doesn't show. <laughs> he, he's actually, his mouth isn't actually opening. He's developed del- uh, del- 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 um, mm. My second truth is when I was in grade two, yeah. I covered my entire body in whiteout. <laughs> Then wow. I don't think there's enough white. I'm disturbed to think much, that... Wait, how much <laughs> bottles did you use? Oh, no, it was just yeah. a bottle and I put it on my body. Oh, I thought you meant like he covered his entire... Like, I th- you know... No. Like, hang on, did you use the whole bottle or did you use your whole body? No, I used the whole bottle. Oh, and I, I, I thought that was way. I thought his like his whole body was like a like, dipped in like white out. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, oh, even past the... See him against the wall. <laughs> so people were riding all over him. <laughs> what are, what are you, what a depressing thing to do. Oh, it was a mistake! What a depressing thing. I want to erase myself. I want to get rid of Oh, gosh. Right. That is, that is like such an art thing, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's just... Hey, well, Melman Art Festival next year. I'm going to do this. Bad. Well, I mean... Get first, we probably get first prize by doing that. Neither, neither, is, neither is that comforting. What, what type of glue? What type, like PVA <laughs> or a glue no stick? PVA. Oh, I thought you meant a glue stick. Nah, PVA? No, nah, just PVA. Let's talk about branding. What brand was <laughs> How can you, can you open your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> you're sticking stuff. Were you trying to stick something into the inside of your mouth? Yeah. Were you trying to make a collage in your mouth? Oh no, I was hungry. I was just. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Admittedly, this. Oh, was... I was in. I think I was. I was very young. Oh, so. you, you were seventeen. <laughs> you're getting stupid. <laughs> it was. It was yesterday. But, yeah. <laughs> so he's got spit. So that's the stuff that you've been spitting you, out. Why did you not leave when I had glue and I had salt? <laughs> what would you have done? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like. Duh. Right, right, uh, have alternative. <laughs> I think the uh, the the glue one is. Yeah. Just because you seem like the type Aww. that would eat glue. I reckon, I reckon the white out one. The white out one is correct. Oh, yes. The story is that when I was in grade two, this guy goes to me, he gives me this bottle of water, he goes, oh, you've told me you have trouble sleeping. Here, give this, you go to sleep in five minutes. So I went to bed. <laughs> and I, was, <laughs> I was just like, like correct, correcting work really puts you to sleep. <laughs> and I covered my body like, I'm talking about everywhere. So ev- just use your imagination with that. I put it on every part of my body. In- enjoy, intent. Enjoy your breakfast, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> And then it took my mum probably like two hours to get it off me that day, the next day. Um, and oh. my family has called me White Out Boy ever since. <laughs> What's the logic behind, hey, put White Out on yourself? I didn't, know, you I didn't know it was White Out. Does that what mean do you that think it was? I had no idea. I never knew. You should really ask more questions, that, Liam. Does that mean the Fallout Boy covered himself in radioactive waste? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, that, uh, so your turn. Yeah, I'm just just out of curiosity though, how how much of your body did you ever cover in one wipe? I thought you'd just be able to do your arm, not much more. No, no, I don't. I didn't. 
Oh, it was only like you know a little bit there, a little yeah. bit there. Okay, so not actually like not completely coated, just bits. Yeah. Okay, that makes that yeah. makes a little you bit more comfy. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> I had the idea of just top to bottom, yeah. white out. Yeah, That's like too. encrusted in white like, out. How much white out did you think? Like, <laughs> <laughs> how did you alive? Who stole thirty bottles of white out? <laughs> it just wasn't me. Okay. I just did a break into office work one day. <laughs> anyway, they like, fell into <laughs> a vat of white out. They take any money? No, they just took all the white out. Anyway, um, so. Um, I bet you sent to a correction fluid centre for that. Um, anyway, <laughs> so my two truths are very historical, as always, so tune out if you want. Um, the first one is that um, there's a Mahatma Gandhi, great leader, incredible leader. My man. Uh, <laughs> as, you, of course, as, he, yeah, as, as he was often known, uh, was, um, was actually not the leader of India. Technically, a lot of people think he was the Prime Minister of India or he was the leader of India. He wasn't. He was a very influential person. Um, but he and he sort of led it by the fact, but he wasn't. He was only he never was into politics. He was never actually a politician. He was just he was just so influential that all the politicians basically did whatever he said. That's an interesting <laughs> fact. That's in, anyway. <laughs> so I'm lost. What are we doing now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, so that's the first one that uh, Mahatma Gandhi never actually ran India or had any kind of office job, any kind of government job. The second one uh, is that they've just discovered another. Um, huge bronze statue. They reckon about thirty meters high, thirty meters of solid bronze, dating from you know fifty BC to Greeks rule of Egypt in the in the in the Mediterranean. It's just they've just dug it up now, just yesterday, and it's enormous. I'm gonna Gandhi one is true. You reckon? I'm gonna I'm gonna go because I'm gonna say the statue. Yeah, it's pretty big. And so he, and he anyway, it's the Gandhi one. Yeah, <laughs> let's put us out of our misery. It's Gandhi. Yeah, no, no. It's, I, I think it was Gandhi was a spiritual leader. Yeah, yeah. I, I know a lot of people think he, he was. Didn't, like he a, didn't work in like cubicles. Like he was a spiritual leader. <laughs> just, yeah, he wasn't bound by some office man. No, he, he wasn't like asking Carl for a stapler. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was a spiritual leader. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't like to stay for the paper. That's too violent. He just, you know, yeah. It's a nice clip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Paper yeah. clips. They, they don't damage the paper. <laughs> so on that, that's two truths for one lie for another week. One truth, for one lie. One truth, one lie. Sorry, we can bring the other two, the other truths and lies back in after this. Yeah. Okay. You're listening to Get Serial on Sin 9.7 FM here with Jeff, with Liam, and with me, Andrew. It is the 22nd of November. I think people are aware of that now, and it's also the 23rd. I, yeah, well, I find it weird because every time I always, you look like a James to me. James. You yes. do. What? <laughs> Why? He also looks like he works at a bakery, doesn't yes, he? Yes, yes. I, I, I actually do almost have a job. At a, I always really contemplated seriously going for a job at the local bakery. You should, you should get it. And, yeah, and, every time you say name. Every time you say name. Every time I think you're, your name's James. Really? Yeah. Get you a nice That's hat. so weird. What about me looks like a James? I don't know. I don't know. You look like a James. Thank, Thank you. James. Yes, well, that's fine, Robert. Um, <laughs> you could be a Peter, even though your brother's Peter. My brother's name is Peter. No, yeah. you, you pass as a Peter. I've got, okay. I got Gregory You look like a, a Tom. A Tom? Yeah. Cool. This is great that we're talking about looks like when we're on the radio. <laughs> it's like we're just, you, sound, you sound like a... You look like a Tom, but you sound like <laughs> a... A Fred. <laughs> a Fred. You sound like a Leroy Smith Hart. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, wow. So, uh, what's up... <laughs> So okay. how's everyone's day going? How's everyone's day going? <laughs> this, is, this is fantastic. It is let's let's try to get some advice. I want to get some advice. Yes. So like... Let's you need a haircut. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't put wax in my hair this morning. <laughs> and it's it's like a very convincing week. Wax. <laughs> what? I use surfboard wax on my hair. Surfboard? Oh, really? Yeah. Like And also car wax. Do people actually <laughs> surf on your... Do people, do people surf on your head? No, but he keeps it you nice just and fresh. You stand in the water and people just stand on your head. Like, he probably yeah. puts toy sharks in there just for fun. I get Ralph <laughs> Macchio to come to my house. <laughs> and then he goes, wax on. <laughs> no, take the wax off. <laughs> where, do you get, where do you get surf wax from? Uh, it's uh, like, a, you know, surf shops. <laughs> so let's just say you're in the water. Yeah. Anyway, and so like, how do you then... You know, so, 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 so like you get the you get that wax. How yeah. do you put it on your hair? So well, I go to the guy who's surfing. He's got wax in his hair because he's been waxing his surfing. Yeah. And I go, mate, like that. I click that in. And I point to my hair, and then he just knows. <laughs> he surfs over. <laughs> so, so, so I'm on a surfboard as well because how am I supposed to get to water? So I'm like balancing on a surfboard. He's surfing towards me in the only ways, and he kind of just balances on my surfboard as well and just waxes my hair. Wow. Oh. Yeah. That's interesting. And does it make a difference to normal wax? Yeah, it does. It, it gives a great texture. It keeps it nice and fresh, and it prevents my hair from coming out. Oh. Yeah. That's, that's beautiful. Yeah, so don't take my word for it. <laughs> <laughs> don't try it at home, though. Don't try it at home. But you know, you know what's not good for your hair? What? The wax that takes the hair off. 
Oh. So you know what I what I should do yeah. is I'll put some wax in it. But the only way you can get that wax off is if you put the if you put like the strips on them, and you got to take them off. But see, that doesn't do yeah, well for I your thought hair. it just I thought it just take you know you do yeah. it and the hair just falls out. No, I and asked. You I gotta rip it out. I remember when I used to work. I asked my manager about that, and I go. Um, I'll just for for radio sake I'll say your stomach hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, "Oh, don't do your stomach hair because it really hurts." Yeah, yeah, yeah. As opposed to any other part of the hair that just yes. feels lovely and pleasant. Yes. <laughs> now, when we were kids, uh, my mother used to make homemade wax. What? She used to make homemade wax Is to your... to wax your arm because we we're very because we we're Lebanese so we we're a very hairy family. No, so my, no. Dump that. Dump that. <laughs> my parents, <laughs> my mother used to make uh, homemade wax. I don't know. She used That's to make it out of like flour and stuff. Really? She used to make it like out of flour and stuff, what? and it used to be like dough, yeah. and you would put on your skin like nothing else, and then you would just take the hair off. Right. Don't be used, but you, the only you use a sticky tape as a kid ooh. trying to whack yourself with sticky tape. Never did that. Yeah, that's weird. That's yeah, Did you do that? Because you you have a weird thing with stationery. <laughs> you use it for old reasons. Uh, but yeah, you just put it on your skin and yeah. And now we're looking at something. <laughs> Definitely. No, I think we're... Yeah, it's going. Sorry, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's weird. I mean, I always thought... I, until I met you, I thought wax was never something you actually put in your hair. No, it's actually a product. Yeah, but I've never been mm. able to use wax. I've always used gel and um, hairspray. I've got, hair I got hairspray in my hair today. Really? Yeah. Did you did the movie hairspray? Oh, yeah. I put the DVD cover. Yeah. <laughs> good texture. Good texture. Good texture. I've got, I got a bit of Zac Efron in there. <laughs> you just put random films in your hair. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I yeah. love it. I know what? I can't... Uh, I can't grow my hair out though. Really? Um, okay. Yeah, my head grows up. Yeah, same yeah. with me. I remember, I, when I, I, was, I remember when I was younger, I wanted to. This is before everyone had man buns and looked terrible. Yeah. I wanted, before I you I joined Essendon. Yeah. Or Melbourne. <laughs> I, I wanted Go. a rat's tail type of thing. Yeah. yeah. I was that cool kid. Yeah, my hair just always grew up, never grew down. I actually had a rat's tail when I was a kid. Of course you did. Of yeah, course you I did. did. I tied it up. But yes, yes, that makes. I can see that. I don't know why I tied it up. It wasn't that long anyway. Yeah. yeah. That's strange. Yeah. This is a great conversation. It is. So I hope uh, you guys at home uh, got some good information out of that. You'll just, just don't try surfboard wax in your head. Please do not try it at home. This is a joke on a radio show. And yeah. don't worry, Mayor and Tasha will be back next week. Yeah. <laughs> this is the guest here on Sin ninety point seven. Guest here on Sin ninety point seven FM. Definitely. And um and anyway, so I thought you were going to do the rest of the background scene there. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. I thought we were going to play another song. Okay, definitely. We and now it's time for Andrew's day in. Uh, 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 take it away, Liam. History. History. So we have Andrew's uh, day in history when he talks about what happened on his day in history. History, history, history. We don't know what to expect because we don't read books. Do you think that, that to think that that was the pr- that sweeper that really well pr- pr- recorded yeah, sweeper no, was the did. result of eighteen takes and that was the best <laughs> one we could get. Yeah. Well, it took us about four days to write. No. Oh. So this is what happened on November twenty third. Two thousand. All right. So, on this day in history, um, this is basically the segment where, as it suggests, I to fill some time, uh, go through um, some of the events that have happened in time. Um, so there have been some pretty amazing things happen in history, and November twenty third. Well, is the history has been kind of long. So yeah, it's been it's been pr- pretty long. It, it's been about the length of you know a Leonardo DiCaprio movie. Yeah, it's anyway, been like a hundred um, years. So. That's a reference <laughs> someone will get. All right. So it was on this day um, in. Uh, the, in 1757, when the Austrian army defeats the Prussians at Breslau in the Seven Years' War. Good for them. Yeah, good, good on, on them. them. Yeah. yeah, you probably see they that. Power through. And he could catch the parade of the Power to the man. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so seven will be covering this anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> it is, well, next year will be the, what, 250th? No, 260th anniversary. Next year will be. It's beautiful. So, um, <laughs> it was also on this day in 1220 that the Fifth Crusade took place. I had no that idea. That was there. That was good. <laughs> it wasn't bad, was it? Yeah. <laughs> what <laughs> Do you have memories of that? Do you, what, oh, are, what are your today. memories? A bit rainy, though. <laughs> 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 it's like my car wouldn't for, start. Yeah. The Wi-Fi was bad there, though. Yeah, no. <laughs> it was great for the, great for the plans. Um, it was on this day when the British King George uh, became confined to bear with a congested lung. So it was actually on this day when she wasn't coronated, but our current queen, oh, one of the queen... Um, before ours took over. So that's oh, is that Queen actually, Victoria? You, you know how I take Queen it back? Queen Victoria 1, 2, and 3. Um, the I guess ast- like Queen Victoria sounds like a movie. I think it was a movie, Queen Victoria. The, Queen yeah. first, Queen Victoria second. <laughs> it's, like, it's like the Rocky. It actually does. <laughs> trilogy. <laughs> it's like the Rocky Queen trilogy. Victoria trilogy. <laughs> I, I, I never I looked at like that. Let's call him Matt Shyamalan and we'll get it done. I think she fights Mr. T in the third one. <laughs> 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 and waiting up for Louis the 16th. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not another Louis yeah. film. Um, this is. It was on this day uh, when the uh, America introduced the eight-hour workday. That was, may I like to point out, a few years after we did it. 
in Australia. What's um, that? You know, I said that. You know, I said there's always been some fascinating things happen in in history. Yeah, I will take it back. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, today is um, the day the Undertaker debuted. Oh, really? Really? Yes. Yeah, this wow. is wrestling, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Well, who's the Undertaker? He's a wrestler. Oh. Oh, he's yeah, he's a dead man. <laughs> oh yes, this was the anniversary today. This is quite true. On this day in 1963 was when Kennedy was assassinated. Oh man, that I cannot believe that didn't get more of a mention. I thought you said candy. Yeah. Just like, Paul Candy? Yeah, yeah. Candy, well, look, the candy, candy man. man. <laughs> and ever since then, it's been... This, uh, life has been do not fascinated. <laughs> in Texas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Walter Cronkite going, oh, oh, this is a bad day. I think this is a bad day for you Americans. Today, after the president was shot, he had also shot the entire confectionery. <laughs> <laughs> Our entire sweets and lollies department has been shot. <laughs> they are calling it a hover bubble crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and it was on this day when, uh, oh, it was on this day when the, um, oh, no. I was going to say it was on this day when, um, I need to read these notes more correct, more clearly. Uh, it was on this day when I thought it said Ho Chi Minh uh, became independent from France for Vietnam. It was actually just when he put in a request. So oh. he didn't hear back for So what happened was back so. in those days they had a suggestion box. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, it's, it's, no, it's yeah. like Facebook. We said seen and just no reply. <laughs> Are you going to this event? Yeah, like just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe. <laughs> yeah, man, Vietnam's independence. <laughs> Vietnam? I just sent an email to the UN saying, oh, guy, uh, uh, you know, I'm Can know we busy. Pretty, please? We'll be ever so grateful. <laughs> yeah, look, I know you pretty busy with you know what with Korea and all oh, yeah. at the moment but if you could just let me know you know about I'm not a kid <laughs> oh my god I'm country it's not independence you with, oh sorry Ho Chi sorry oh, look I'm getting around to it I've just been really busy I will get up I promise I promise I'll look into your independence your independence is very ASAP. important to us you are next in line for independence <laughs> <laughs> please are, hang on the line you are currently third in the queue <laughs> <laughs> we're just waiting to give uh, <laughs> to, you know then in the meanwhile you know this <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You want independence? Why not buy one of our Independence Day packages? Make sure that you subscribe to our new website as our old website is closing down. <laughs> <laughs> Paperwork can be hard when you get independence from colonial power. Why not fast on the process by opening up a chat service? <laughs> and Ho Chi Minh's going, oh, this is hopeless, this is hopeless. I don't you want know, the oh, app. Yes. 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 Probably, yes. probably the person on the line was probably a really old lady. Hello. So you want independence? Yes. Yes. Can I have your service number, please? Sir, your date of birth. sir, please stop yelling. <laughs> independence can wait. Sir, 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 yeah. So, so you're not independent, say. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Ho Min, yeah, Chi Min, Mr. Me, Mr. Chi Min. Ho Min. <laughs> yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. So anyway, that happened. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was also uh, on this day. Um, yeah, Angela Merkel became the first ever woman to be Chancellor of Germany um, in 2005. So that, she's been good. Gee, good she's for been her. in the job a long time now. Yeah, what's that? 11, 11 years. years. Wow. Oh, good on you, Angela. Angela Merkel is a very good leader. I mean, yeah, like, she's quite strong. But hair's she's... a bit off though. She needs to be working her hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> put some put some surf wax in it. Yeah, <laughs> Finally, get a mohawk. She'll need anyway, that. That is on this day in history. We've got an interview coming up in three minutes, so we better get off to to give them a call. Um, only just over an hour to go. Yep. I'll get to you. But what are you listening to? Get Serial on Sin 90.7 FM. You're listening to Get Serial on Sin 90.7 FM with Andrew, Liam and Jeff. Liam, uh, you have your licence, I believe, don't you? Yes, yes, I do. How long have you had your licence for? Um, I'm on my green pea, so a year. A year. Give me some oh, tips. Almost two years, almost Give two years. me some tips on uh, how to get my licence. So I don't wow. I have one. Wow. Don't drink and drive? Oh, well, that's a big one, yep. Yeah, um, don't hit a bin on your test. That's oh. something I did. Oh, yeah, you see, yeah, I did the same thing. Um, it's funny because I remember going for my test and the guy goes, oh, you fail if you do this, do this, if you hit a bin. Mm. And I'm like, who hits a bin? And who also drives on the sidewalk? <laughs> um, no, I was doing a three-point turn and because I, I got my I got my manual licence. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm a true, true driver. Um... <laughs> Yeah, folks, he yeah. doesn't need anyone and to shift his gears. Well, I did. I did a three-point turn, and I did it in a bad area. It was a bit, of, it was a bit hilly. Yeah. And so, well, I did I did two close, and the car moved forward, and it hit the bin. I was like, ah. Oh. I said a few nice words. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, also, don't run a stop sign. Don't run a red light. Okay. This is stuff I haven't done, but yeah. maybe since I have my license, I think I've run a red light once in my life. How about pedestrians? Should you hit pedestrians? Yeah, 20 points. Oh, really? Yeah. 
You get deducted or you get... No, you get 20 points. If you hit a pedestrian. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't mm. know that. Well, no, the... you, did you know that? If you hit a pedestrian, you get 20 points on your driver's test. I did not know that. No, yeah, it's no. billing. You hit as many see, as you can. See, oh, well, can I remind you that we have a lot of influence and power here? Well, I'll say a lot. But <laughs> that, we should just cover. That is a joke. That's a joke. Don't hit anyone. Try to avoid it. Please don't. In, in your test or in general, do you mean? Um, also, don't... Um, in general. But also, right. don't have road rage. Apparently, apparently here... I have a bit of road rage. Yeah. Really? Apparently I have nice language for some drivers that cut me off. Or My worst thing is, in a lane that, usually on the freeway, they let you know that you need to merge. Yeah. Yeah. And so I usually, I always merge as soon as I see it. That's what yeah. I do. But you always have that person who gets to the end of the merge lane. Yes, yeah. And I have, I, I let them know, I tell them to have a nice day. Mm. Yeah. Good for you. Thank you for being a driver on this <laughs> road. Yeah. I hope you have a fantastic day. You know what? I get road rage standing in line to get a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh. standing there. Oh, yeah. in front of me. I have a, I have a theory oh, here. This yeah. is a theory and I've worked, and this is like data and everything. Yeah. Did I try to get this? The worst drivers, as in like the most douchiest drivers <laughs> in terms of speeding, running red lights, right. cutting yeah. people off, are people who drive drive utes. Yeah, I would probably agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. This, yeah. this has been... You have a ute, drive one on the dirt, mate. Um, this is like... <laughs> and not, not, one of those, mm. not one of those old Aussie utes. I'm talking about the new... High newish, yeah. yeah. And this is like data I've worked up driving and every time a car cuts me off I go to my girlfriend whoever's in the car that's a ute. Yeah. <laughs> We've worked out... It's, so yeah, if people who drive utes seem to be the douchiest drivers. Yeah, interesting. I would say that about four-wheel drives as well. They seem to be pretty... Un- pretty. I guess for, the problem with four-wheel drives they're just... I mean, and like big, big utes as well. You're right, utes and sort of any big car. Not so much people movers because you can see past them but the other dangerous thing about big utes and about... Um, and about... Uh, and about four-wheel drives is you can't see them. Like you, you can't see past them when you're trying to get out of shopping centres and stuff. If you're on a, if you're on a you know, side road and you're trying to um, get into, you know, you're trying to pull out of a parallel parking on a main street and there's a ute either side of you. It's impossible to see. You're really just going blind and that's mm. quite dangerous. And I, I mean, more than anything else, and just, you know, of course, if you hit someone or if it's, you know, if it's, if you have an accident with the car, the bigger the car, the more damage you do. So mm. it's always... Well, actually... They don't need it in the city well, anyway. Well, I have been a car accident. Yeah. Um, I was mm. driving on a road and someone was like, hey, that's a give way sign. Wait, <laughs> no, nah, I don't need a give way. And T-boned me. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ooh, you're, uh, right. well, you're okay. Yeah, I was fine. My girlfriend at the t- well, not at the time actually. My girlfriend had a um, concussion. Oh. The girlfriend at the time had a concussion, or the girlfriend? No, it's my girlfriend. at the it's time. My, it's my car. Oh, so it's my. He had multiple girlfriends. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you thought, I'm not going out with any woman who's concussed. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah she, like, Who she, are you? <laughs> she had, she had <laughs> a concussion. Yeah, she, yeah. Go on. Yeah. Um, despite she, what happened afterwards, me and her got into a bit of an argument because she did something that really annoyed me about that. But yeah, she had a concussion. Dude, don't you uh, hate it when, when people have concussions? I know, I know. No, and no, then no. whinge about, oh, take me to the doctor. No, no, oh, no. Can I have a lie down? No, the thing was, she When th- did you get twins? <laughs> she thought it'd be fun the next day to go out and party. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. and yeah, I wasn't happy with that. Um, but yeah, so we got anyway. a T-bone. Well, well, the pain was, uh, like, <laughs> it was like next to the beat. Like, it's an ow, ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> it would uh, rhyme perfectly to Uptown Funk. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> nah, she does a good with Michael Jackson. You know that, ow. <laughs> Beautiful, <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> ow. I'm just trying to think if this is tasteful or not. Uh, <laughs> I think it is. Um, but yeah. <laughs> anyway. So my car at the time yeah. got ridden off, and it was uh, it was just like a normal Holden Commodore that hit us. Yeah, okay. Kind of oh. hurts. Getting into a car accident isn't fun, believe it or not. Well, I didn't no. think that's not like bumper cars, is it? <laughs> no, <it's laughs> no, no, it's not. That's what <laughs> I said the fourth. Yeah. I've only been in, I've never been in an accident. I've been in a few bingles. I've been the worst accident I've been in. I think I've told this story on air before as well, anyway. It was when I crashed into the giant pole. And like it's not really fast. I was in a park. I was in a car space, and I accidentally jumped. And you know, the, you know those stupid rubber things that they have to stop people going over the edge of. Yeah, uh, so stupid. Oh, no, they give you air. They don't stop yeah. you. They just, <laughs> just give you a little bit of extra lift. And so you know, I, I jumped. I, I drove. I hit the accelerator instead of the brake. I, this stupid little car park. I managed to navigate it. Weasel my way into it. It was like navigating a ship through, you know, Athens Harbour. And anyway, I eventually managed to get it into the spot. I was really happy with myself. You know, nothing damaged. I need about you know. I only hit one or two uh, traffic cones and finally on the spot hit the accelerator jumped and crashed into of course the big pole you know those big poles over at the start of shopping centres that list all the shops yeah yeah. I had to crash into that because that had to be the one thing in front of my store and now it's slightly bent
Queensland. So if you go out to that place, I'm not going to say in the suburb, but if you if you go around, if you if you ever drive and you see a slightly bent shopping sign, there's a very likely chance it was uh, me that crashed that the one. The worst one I've done myself yeah. was this one I was on my learners. I was driving my mum's four wheel drive, yeah. and I reversed out the driveway, and there seemed to be a fence in my way for some reason. And I, I, I hit it, <laughs> just constructed it then. I, I hit it. I hit it the slightest. <laughs> it literally like the hammering it. <laughs> just as you go, like, but before you go to the minute you got your car, there's no fence, and then suddenly out of nowhere, <laughs> hordes of workers go dig holes, have your fences, start whistling. Uh. <laughs> and then by the time you crash into it, so what happened? You know, so you hit oh, a fence. It was, yeah, yeah, it was the very slightest, Army. very slightest, and the whole thing Ugh. just collapsed. The fence or the, the, the whole, yeah, the fence. Oh. No, the car, the car just collapsed. <laughs> it just fell apart. Yeah. It was just, just a touch of, you, know. You, know, you know, when I was three years old, right? Uh, my, my parents. <laughs> this is going to be an accident about. This is going to be a story about driving. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was three years old, right? Uh, I went into my dad's yeah. car. We were at the beach or something in a parking lot. <laughs> and I was in beach my, car, be, car park. <laughs> <something>. Sorry, come <laughs> on. So I was in my dad's car and I was pretending to be my father, like pretending to drive like my dad and stuff yeah. and then uh, I pulled the handbrake down and we uh, took off and I was in the car driving oh. the three year old and then my parents like what are you doing driving so they ran after the car oh, that's what I did I was just like ah, <laughs> yes, yes, a, Jeff, classic Jeff, Jeff. Oh <laughs> I had the they asked you an earnest question like what are you doing driving I was like what are you doing <laughs> I was like oh no I oh, know quick oh, what's your dad's name Joe Joe quick Joe the um the, this, our three year old has taken over the car was, what's he doing driving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a little scam. What, is, is what a strange decision Dude, for three year old. Like, I thought the... his license was suspended. <laughs> my, my arm was at the window. My hand was like leaning over the top of the wheel. Oh, I was cruising. Is it cruising. <laughs> officer? <laughs> I was cruising. <laughs> you do it like that. They got pulled over by the police. We were cruise. We're dead against the disinculer. Got pulled over by the police. And they're like, oh, so, you know, do you realise that you were going, you know, 45 in a 40 zone? Gaga. <laughs> okay. I do not know. <laughs> I, 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 I drive you fast. <laughs> I can count up that high. Um, oh. How fast are you going? <laughs> Six zero. <laughs> now, how fast are you going? That much. <laughs> <laughs> boom boom. <laughs> oh, it goes, first, first I was not story. going over. I was not. <laughs> I don't know when your parents got you. Ah, Jeff. <laughs> so, Jeff, what were you, Jeff, what were you doing driving? <laughs> you know all your cognitive ability of a three-year-old in a car. What happened was I, I pulled the handbrake up and yeah. my dad ran to the car. He goes, what were you doing? You can, you can colour within the lines on a colouring book, but you can't park within one. <laughs> Did he actually say that? No. <laughs> <laughs> he went down oh, through, though. Oh, colourful. <laughs> and I was like, and the way he said, "Oh, what are you doing driving?" You're like, you're like, oh, look, I just want to go down to the shops and get some bread. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> and when you there, can you pick up some razors as well? <laughs> I want some fish and chips. It's a logical conversation. Oh, and by the way, um, just be careful of the third gear. It seems to cl- catch a bit. So you know, thanks. Enjoy it. And that time when you get back. <laughs> that, don't, don't, what are you doing driving a car? It's past your bedtime. <laughs> Gosh, what so, a... how much trouble did you get in? A lot. Oh, <laughs> I, I wasn't allowed out of my room for like a week. I was grounded. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I need to go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> a, no, you're literally grounded because you tried to steal a plane after that. Yeah. <laughs> my mother, they grounded you. Yeah. yeah. I remember this. My mother told everybody, and she said it in such disgust. And she goes, and then he drove the car, and like almost crashed into the beach. <laughs> crashed into the beach. It's like the beach is a wall. Ah, oh, he hit the, the beach. You were you falling? <laughs> I was going into the. River. You know, I was actually going into, and then they oh, pulled gosh. the handbrake up. Yeah, <laughs> they pulled. Oh wow! I'm, not, I'm never driving with you. <laughs> no, you should never get your license, Jeff. <laughs> All right, this wow. is the Gets here on C ninety point seven FM with uh, Liam, Andrew, and Jeff. This is the Gets here on C ninety point seven FM with Andrew, Liam, and Jeff. Definitely. Now, before we, uh, you know, hit it big and get cereal. So, what was that? <laughs> Great. If you're not even listening, I will really don't listen. No, so that. my headphone uh, volume was down. Oh, fair enough, yeah. Does that mean that for a few seconds there was... You couldn't even hear me through the headphones? No. <laughs> Interesting. Um, anyway, uh, before we hit it big on Get Serial, we did a show for a while called Not So Serious News. Yeah, yeah. I was sort of a special guest on that, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah. It, uh, it, was, a, it was a nice show. We did well. We had, like, listeners in India and England and America. Yeah, yeah we had... Yeah. We went well for a while. We were globetrotting, yeah. We were... We... Were, we, we, <laughs> we we conquered the world, but now we now we're doing it too. Yeah, yeah we so didn't really have listeners in England. Yeah, we did. We had listeners in England. Wow. 
Oh, well, cheerio to them. Funny thing, I was oh. actually looking uh, back on the old shows on uh, the podcasting app on yeah. my iPhone. Looking back on the old shows, and I was thinking to myself, uh, like, I'm like, we had a lot of listeners, but I really think we could have gotten more. And I looked down on the, the genre I put under, and I didn't put under the comedy, I put under the news and politics. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love my news and politics. Oh. So, people were, like, thinking they're going to get, like, a, a current affair type <laughs> stuff. And instead, they got, like, me and you saying, a man was arrested in, in, in the Northern Territory for selling a car and a skirt. <laughs> like, yeah. that's what, yeah. that's what you heard over your radio um, but yeah we that was a while ago yes that was a while ago and I just bring it up now because I thought we would relive that, that show in one segment with a wacky news story for the yeah. week I found this story the other day um, well serving there it's been covered in a few sites it is that um, an, an airport hangar in California uh, just leaked foam just leaked a giant an airport giant, hangar yeah like what a hangar like- like, as in, like, to put your clothes on, or...? <laughs> so, like, yeah, they had... Because, of course, you know, pilots wear so many coats. <laughs> and so they need... Like, I don't know where an airport hangar is. That's, that's why they need a building that... But you know what a hangar is, don't you? A hangar? Yeah, an airport hangar. No. I'm thinking of the control room where, you know, oh miss, mission control... Now, what does that have to do with hanging, though? I don't know. Is it where, like, the pilots hang, or...? Do you, you know what a hangar is, though, don't you? No. Oh, well, is, is it, it like are they taking like good marks or something, jumping people's backs? Or <laughs> it's, 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 they're invented by Jizzlinko. <laughs> <laughs> Just got that. Yeah, well, <laughs> hangers, oh, what a contest right there! <laughs> so, the hangar, hangers are the big buildings that still the planes. Oh, is that what that? I thought oh. it was called a tower. <laughs> no, no, that's the air control tower. The tower is the tower's the tall one. Yeah, the hangers are the massive buildings. You've been on a plane before. Yeah, you've probably seen them coming out of there. No, no, no. The giant hangar. Anyway, anyway. An air, all right, so an aircraft hangar. Good for you. you. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> Today on the education segment. What's a hangar? Oh, I can't believe it. Anyway, so basically, these big buildings that store them. I'm going to get up a picture of them so you can see. These, there, there, there's some hangers. Look, I got no, the store oh, planes. It's, it's it's the garage where oh, they put the planes. It's the garage, okay, man. Yeah. It's, it's the plane garage. <laughs> it's right, cool. Well done. So, so anyway, that's it. In case you focus the plane at home, no. it's <laughs> called the garage where they put the plane. You sound like Bruce Darby's character out of Fly the Concords, Mary Hewitt. <laughs> you know, like the, the dead, the dead Brit, you play the dead guitar. Like, it's actually called the bass. Oh, I, love, uh, I always call it the dead guitar. So, th- that's the hangar. Oh, I always call it the, the plane garage. It's called the plane garage. Who calls it that? Why would they call it a hangar? Because plane. Plain garage makes it sound like it's as opposed to the garage that's painted. <laughs> <laughs> as opposed to the garage that's got weird rainbow stripes all over it. Yes, it's just a plain garage. How do you, where do you hang in there? Like, it's a place where it parts hang yeah, out? It's, 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 it's got like a jukebox, yeah. Uh, with one plain garage sound system. system. <laughs> you come here often? <laughs> anyway, so now that we've established what a hanger is, do you know what foam is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's what's on top of the cappuccino. When you... <laughs> <laughs> what's a cappuccino? It's a coffee. <laughs> okay. What's a coffee? Anyway, um, so that's... That's, that's what happened. Basically, the brother to Al Pacino. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's not impressed. He's so not impressed. No, no, he tried impressed. to bring the show back. <laughs> He's lost it. Oh, oh. But this is what happens if you're listening. If you're listening, Maya. If you're listening, uh, Natalia. This is what happens when you leave us. <laughs> when you leave a fill-in to choose the fill-ins. So anyway, um, here is. But all right. So you've seen. You've established what a hanger is. Okay. This is what happens <laughs> when a massive blob of foam that they still don't know where it came from just suddenly came out of a hangar and took over a street in California. Look at it. Maybe someone snow. just left the window open. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> they left the bath running. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But why would there be foam in the hangar? I don't know. I don't know. Um, basically, this uh, according to uh, maybe they're washing the plane. According yeah. to Sky News, um, this is yeah, <laughs> it's actually they're washing the plane. Yeah, he meant to report an aeroplane yeah. at Sky News. <laughs> so, it, it was um, apparently the phone spread around the two tanker trucks and almost completely covered roads in Santa Clara, California, right now. A giant blob of foam was taken over the streets. Um, one local man tried to cycle through the foam. Tom reported, it feels like soap. It smells like it too. Well, <laughs> it's probably, <duh>. it's probably <laughs> soap. <laughs> yeah, it's it's soap. Uh, it would be weird if it was with Someone cream. left the tap running. <laughs> so, they have no idea. Um, it doesn't actually say what the foam was caused by. So I just thought that was interesting. I, I thought that was at least somewhat bizarre that... <laughs> and they said they tweeted to say we are aware of the foam incident from the fire suppression system that malfunctioned. Uh, Santa Clara agencies provided like as if you were aware, aware of the massive foam that's taken over the town. Your, your American accent is <laughs> different than mine. I got a very Texas. <laughs> I'm from Texas. <laughs> is it, what you, I love what, some fried chicken. What are you chewing tobacco? Or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, anyway. we're, we are aware of the foam. Uh, we didn't know it was there initially. <laughs> Until we opened the door and we're like, oh, man. Oh. We literally did decide, it's an air car. Should we look out the window? Oh, no, I see no point in doing that. <laughs> I think there'll be nothing interesting out there to interest us at all. <laughs> Have you seen Home Alone? Have you guys seen the movie Home Alone? Yes. Do you remember, yeah. when, the, do you remember when the robbers, they put like uh, towels down the sink to clog the sink so yeah. that they trade well? Probably that's, that's what happened. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Is Someone it, is, probably pulled cloth down the sink at the airport and it foamed up with soap. Does that mean that this film would be not Home Alone but Hanger Alone? Hanger Alone. <laughs> Somewhere in, there's, a, there's a kid in there that's mucking around and watching movies. <laughs> <laughs> Just no, do that in the It could be an adult Macaulay Culkin. Huh? It could be an adult Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, probably. That old version of him. <laughs> so, turn him up. In more news, uh, I know you like your history, Andrew. Yes, oh, I love my history. You like your history, yeah, oh, Liam? I'm, I'm a history buff. So he's a history. So in August... Yeah, high uh, five. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Well, well, women love. <laughs> in August 1957, uh, baseball player Richie Ashburn hit a fan with a foul ball. A few minutes later, he hit the same fan again while she was being taken out on a stretcher. That's she, what she deserved it. Yes, deep yeah. down, deep down, she deserved it. She probably did something. Yeah. She was like, you can't hit. <laughs> she, yeah, probably, she, was, she was just a murderer wanting to happen. <laughs> it sounds like a Nickelodeon sketch. It yeah, does, it, yeah. it sounds like Spongebob. That would hurt, though. Gosh. The, what, the first one or the second one? Oh, Both. Oh, no. the, the first one was just like, <laughs> one over Duck's back. It was the second one. The really oh, hurt. what happened? Oh, he got hit with a ball. It's ah. funny that he hit it, the same guy hit yeah. it again and hit her on the stretcher as if he had taken out. She must think it was so like, I would be worried about that man. I reckon he's got <laughs> what, what did he? What that? Did she, seriously though, is she okay? <laughs> I don't know. It was 1957. Uh, I could picture she's probably dead by now. I could picture the Wilhelm scream. Oh god! With that, the what? The Wilhelm scream. Wilhelm scream. You know. <laughs> so, you know, you know like, it's a bit like a hangar, really. So you don't know what that is. <laughs> Who knows no, what that is? You'll never imagine the Wilhelm scream taking uh, it out. Once you hear the, once you know the Wilhelm scream, too much in like every movie. Yeah, yeah. it's a sinister scream. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's ow! Oh, oh. no, I can't do it. It's, it's very you. distinctive. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> we just had a text from uh, from Tim in uh, Bo Morris. <laughs> Uh, who makes a very good part, the point to say that it is, uh, it, you could say the film should be called It, it Was Foam Alone. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That's good, isn't Don't it? Don't mind yeah. that. Anyway. Don't mind it. Thanks, Tim. Uh, anyway, so, um, yes, but that, anyway, so that's interesting. So, is he, um, that, that's, uh, uh, if she's okay, then that's funny. Well, <laughs> she's probably dead now. Yeah, she's 1957. Yeah. It's, a, it's quite yeah. a long so, time ago. There is a tragic ending to that. <laughs> Definitely. She's probably 40 right now. So <laughs> he, though, he'd probably be dead by now as well. Huh? He'd probably be dead I, by I now. I think most though, of the people well. in attendance would be dead by yeah. now. In 1957. Yeah. yeah. Well, my grandmother was alive in 1957. Was she at the, well, the game? No. Maybe no, she's sure. the one that got hit. <laughs> 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 I'll ask her. Hang on. <laughs> hey, mum, did you get hit by a baseball <laughs> twice? Hey, grandmammy. I, grand <laughs> I, d- I, d- I don't remember. <laughs> I remember the first one, the second one. Anyway. Um, so, uh. yes. Uh, so, foam, foam in a town. That is such... Oh, that really is old news. <laughs> um, so hey, we just broke it. This has been this has been very American. This has been a nineteen fifties American theme show today. We've yeah. had talking about you know every single time we've broken we've talked about something we've seen to have broken into that American nineteen fifties ad voice. Yeah. Anyway, um, so but yeah, but yeah, so foam and a baseball. Yeah. You're listening to Get Serial on Sin nine point seven FM. We'll be right back with more content after this. this is Get Serial on Sin ninety point seven. And let's let's look at some useless facts in life. Of course, not useless. Oh, speaking of this, the website I'm on is actually called Hashtag Facts. Really? Oh. So back to our hashtag and that. See, hashtag to taking over the world. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yes. And this is so hashtag facts. <laughs> yes. So I'll give one. And it's is this facts about hashtags? Sorry. I'm... Yeah, it's hashtag facts. <laughs> this is insulting. Did you know the hashtag has nine different squares? Does it? No, it actually has one different square because the rest are all Did three. Did you know you can play nothing crosses with hashtag? I did no. not know that. No, you go hashtag wow. and then you start playing. Did you know a hashtag is the same whether it's no matter which direction it's turned up? <laughs> <laughs> that is a useless fact. Did you know that hashtag comes from the fact that it's like a hash with lots of sort of mesh stuff? Do you know you know the hashtag is the same as the hash key on a phone? Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh gosh, that's that's a lot of social embarrassing social situations <laughs> I've cleared up now. <laughs> uh, does, do you know that if um, you press the hash t- key on a phone, sometimes you can give special commands, like <laughs> "Hey phone, <laughs> hey, tsh, yeah, yeah, um, um, drive me to work." <laughs> anyway, so, so yeah, you're saying hashtag facts? Yes. Yes. Um, this is probably insulting to us Australians. Yeah. In the UK, it's illegal to eat mince pies on Christmas Day. Is it? Yes. We're having this discussion off here. I think when it, when it says mince pie, presumably it means the fruit mince. There's fruit mince? I'm thinking 
Not not meat pies. Meat. Not meat pies. Oh, I want pie. meat pies. Do you know what mince pies? Please tell me you both know what mince pies are. I don't know what mince pies. No, is. I think mince pies oh. is the same as meat pie. No, mince pies are like the um, mince pies are like the Christmas thing. Oh, I don't know what it is. What is it like? Mint? Is it like? It's like it's no, like fruit. See, mint pies, meat. Um, mince pies. I bet that this is, look, these little food things with the stars. Yeah, so. I don't, yeah, we didn't eat those. You never seen them before? No. <laughs> oh, okay, then it's not insulting to us Australians. But it still makes sense. It, well, it would be insulting if it was meat, and even, <laughs> even so, it's a bit insulting because Christmas mince pies are what you eat on. A mince pie is a fruit-based mince meat sweet pie. See, it is. We know what neighbourhood he grew up in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a British origin that is traditionally served during the Christmas season in the English-speaking world. There you go. Um, so. Yeah, it's weird, but that's but is. even so, regardless of whether what kind of feeling, that's that doesn't make sense because it's that's it. Why, why does it say why they were banned on Christmas? No, <laughs> they're just, they're just oh, here's another yeah. one. Here's another one. If you constantly fart for six years and nine months, mm. enough gas is produced to create the energy of a nuclear bomb. Well, that's mm. dangerous. Yeah, who records that? Who goes, he goes, he yeah, goes, that's true. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, Jimmy, can you fart for six years and nine months, please? Yeah, dad. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Oh, boy, whiz! <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, wow, well, we, if, if you want to hear more about this story, tune into Panorama. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to be covering uh, oh. a current affairs story with the reporters. <laughs> Cutting edge current affairs and news program. You're going to uh, fast uh, scientists. And confused pies. <laughs> yeah. Scientists, so yeah, politicians. <laughs> Which politician farted today? <laughs> anyway, go on, go on, sorry. What the hell? Well, he is a very Facebook hipster, you know, Tumblr type of quote here. Yes. Ninety-five percent of people texting things, they text things they could never say in person. Really? Is that something you'll see on Tumblr with a really dark <coughs> background? Well, I must say, I've never said. I ne- yeah, I've never said. Um, just to read some of these. Um, I've just. I've never heard someone say. I've never. I've never been able to say. Uh, you know, looking forward to the races. Pony and pony emoji. <laughs> <laughs> smiley emoticon. Yeah. Really, that's Life not. Life emoticon. Not he's a, Let's he's read a... some of our texts to one another. See if this works. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, go on. I was gonna say. All right. So you you've got my text for me, haven't you? I got your text. Yeah, on your phone. Uh, got... Let me try to bring them up right here. Right, so at the moment I said, I said, yeah, sounds good. I'll check with Amy. Yeah. Haha. Uh-huh. <laughs> are you thinking? <laughs> what was my one? I just go, hey Andrew, where are you, brother? Yeah, and I said, one min. <laughs> you're yeah, right, you need... you're right, that doesn't work, does it? doesn't it? work, no, no. Yeah, fair here's, enough. A, here's a fact, have you guys ever seen the movie Twilight? Uh, no, no. Uh, I've avoided it as could. Seen the movie yeah. Twilight, anyone? It's a cinematic masterpiece. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the new Jaws. Well, apparently, there are over 24 minutes of just staring in the Twilight movies. That that makes sense. That, yeah, I can believe that. 24 yeah. minutes. Blowing. Did you know Fifty Shades of Grey is a audience. fan fiction of Twilight? Yeah. yeah. I think you told me that, but I don't yeah. Know. Oh, yeah. No, it is. That's what Twilight is. is a well, I can't read, so I can't really justify that. No. Oh, have you seen the movie? It's fantastic. <laughs> no, I've never seen the movie. <laughs> it was voted worst movie of 2015, <laughs> along with the Fantastic Four reboot. Oh, really? really? Yeah. Oh. That's and yet they're still making a sequel. Oh. I hate Hollywood. <laughs> reboot is the worst word, isn't it? Reboot. Mm. Reboot. It makes it sound like you're kicking it out for a second oh, right. time. Reboot. Yeah. What was it? One more fact. Mate, it? I had to... He was, he was, I was, I was uh, annoyed with him, so I had to reboot him. <laughs> yeah, so, so, yeah, I booted him once and that wasn't enough, so I had to boot him again. Don't make me reboot you, mate. It's such an unartistic word. <laughs> so, um, what's it? One more fact before we... Oh. Uh, a small child could swim through the veins of a blue whale. I actually heard that actually. Gee, that's that's, that's impressive. interesting, isn't it? Been there, done that. No, <laughs> that was when Jeff drove into the ocean. <laughs> so, 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 how did they test that theory? <laughs> oh, I know, right? <laughs> Just to get small children to do surgery on blue whales. <laughs> we should have given an auction mask. Yeah, right, you listen to get cereal on oh, Sydney. Oh, no, no, that was, was dark. Very dark. I'm oh, sorry, Melbourne. Listen to get anyway, cereal. Get cereal on Sydney ninety point seven FM with Andrew, Liam, and Jeff. And Margaret Cortez joins us on the line, the coordinator of the Japanese Film Festival, which is running from the 24th of November till the 4th of December. Margaret, thank you for joining us so early. Hello, thank you for having me. No worries, cheers. Tell us about the Japanese Film Festival. Well, the Japanese Film Festival is currently on its 20th year, and oh. it started in 1997 with only one location in Sydney. Yeah. So what's brought you to Melbourne? Uh, well, Melbourne has always been, it's always been a natural choice for the festival. And it did take a few years um, for the festival to get to Melbourne. It started off as a free program of only three films. And now we're screening 40 films, wow. four contemporary titles and six um, vintage 
titles in 35 and 16 millimeters. Fantastic. Are you doing anything for the uh, 20th anniversary? Well, for the 20th anniversary, we're, uh, we've designated the Acme Cafe and Bar as a festival hub for the first time. So um, we're trying it out with um, a musical performance, or well, a traditional Japanese music performance this coming right. Saturday at 4 o'clock. Brilliant. Definitely. And it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's quite a festival in itself. It's not just film showings. There is a, there is a fair bit of um, music and show to go along with it. Yeah, that's right. And also a bit of cosplaying for pop culture fans. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Yeah. And uh, I'm interested to know, so who are creating these films? Are they film companies or are they just locals of, uh, of Melbourne? Um, for the uh, films, the films are all latest releases um, from Japan. Most okay. of the films uh, are more than 18 months old. Yeah. Oh. So it's a bit good sort of mix of independent and, and uh, sort of mainstream? Yeah, there are a, very, a few independent titles, but in the strict sense of the word, all films in Japan are produced by a studio of okay. one form or another. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, um. With the latest craze of all Japanese stuff, especially in, where in Australia, with all the popular animes really hitting the mainstream around here, has the festival become more popular over the last few years? Yeah, most definitely. And it's also because starting off with anime fans and fans yeah. of or manga or Japanese comics, they've also started venturing into other types of films. And that's eventually what we want to showcase. And there are also a lot of fans of cult Japanese films, yeah. like, say, Godzilla, which we're screening with you. Um, yeah, so I guess um, it's, it's good to see that fans of um, one form of Japanese uh, one point, yeah, Japanese in, interest um, area are venturing into movies as well. Yeah. And there is a bit of anime there as well? It, that is certainly part of it? There is. Um, yeah, we only have two anime titles this year, but they're both family-friendly titles. One is a 3D animated film called Rudolph the Black Cat about a, a little cat named Rudolph. And yes. the other one is about... Chibi Mariko and her friends, um, where a bunch of um, exchange foreign exchange students visit Mariko and her small town in Japan. Um, with the new Pokemon game being released just last week, is there going to be anything to do with Pokemon over there? No, unfortunately not. Um, the program is not as flexible as um, the we choose the film starting June of every year. And yeah, by the time it hits the first location, which is Canberra in October, we've already got a set number of um, a set titles. Mm. But hopefully next year we'll be able to bring out more anime titles, Pokemon included. Fantastic. Um, and speaking of uh, titles and the sort of and the and the the animation and stuff, what are, what is the diversity like? Is there a good sort of range of um, comedies and tragedies and dark and light and documentary and that sort of thing? Most definitely. There's mm. something for everybody at the Japanese Film Festival, including fans for from classic films and contemporary films alike. Definitely. definitely. And uh, where can we view all these Japanese films? So we have two locations in Melbourne. Um, we're screening more of the art house titles and more of the dramas at the Australian Centre for the Moving Images mm. and more of the pop culture entertainment titles at Hoyt's Melbourne Central. Yeah. Um, without meaning to ask you to be too favouritistic um, or, or, or have a uh, big out of favourites, are there any films at this festival that you're particularly excited about or are interested to see? I'm definitely excited about this one title called Seto and Utsumi. It's about two high school boys named oh. Seto and Utsumi, and it's 75 minutes of them just talking about life. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's a bit of a mumblecore Richard Linklater style film. <laughs> yeah, just about life and everything, just in the same room. Almost like a bit of a sort of a doll's house. Yeah, no, um, just um, they just hang out after school yeah. by the river every night, and it's everything from um, their family, their parents, fireworks to even cats. Oh, oh good. That, they're sort of the, yeah, lovely. Um, yes, and, and and also I suppose it's sort of you know that's it, 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 the dialogue and something like that would be extremely important. Yeah, it would require a lot of reading though, but I hope <laughs> people enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm really interested to know, uh, so is it just predominantly the Japanese community that are watching these films, or do you get other cultures uh, attending the festival? 
Most definitely. Um, um, 25% of our audience um, across the different cities, our six major cities, are identify as Japanese. Okay. And 75% actually identify as Australian and from other cultural backgrounds. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. That sounds like a terrific uh, festival. Um, Margaret, just uh, just tell us a bit more, just tell us one more time, sorry, where you can hear it. Is that ACME and it runs from the 24th of November? Yep, so it's, uh, it opens this uh, 24th of November um, all through the 4th of December and it's at Acme and Hoyt Smelton Central. Um, is there any actors or actresses we should look out for as, as the Western culture that could make it big? Yes, um, I'm glad you asked. Well, this, uh, we, uh, one I think that you should definitely look out for is the lead actor in uh, the movie A Bride for Rip Van Winkle. Mm. So her name is Haru Kuroki, and she's just fantastic. Um, from comedy all the way through to drama, uh, she has a nice repertoire of movies. And this particular movie, A Bride for Rip Van Winkle, is a three-hour-long um, human interest piece. Something to look forward to. Sounds yeah. interesting. Brilliant. I'm sure it's one of many great films at the Japanese Film Festival, which will be running at Hoyts, Melbourne, and Acme from the 24th of November to the 4th of December. Margaret Cortez, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Sun Radio. No worries. Good luck with the good luck with the festival. We look forward to seeing it. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. You're listening to Get Serial on Sin 90.7 FM. We'll be finishing up just after this quick little song. You're listening to Get Serial on Sin 90.7 FM here with Liam and Jeff and myself, Andrew. It is the end of the show. It's been a big show. We've also got the uh, host of the next show that's coming up after us, the terrific weekly sports buffet. It's Michael. Just in case you couldn't wait another five minutes, uh, I know you guys are getting very impatient, but yes, I am here. <laughs> there, you guys have actually finished early today, which is incredible. <laughs> Jack, I, know, I cannot believe it. That's not for everything. <laughs> We're three, we are three fill ins. Yes. I was going to say, <laughs> clearly, clearly the mince pie wasn't dense enough. <laughs> <laughs> we got more fill-ins than a yeah, Collingwood supporter. Tell you, tell you what, yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's a very good segue. <laughs> yeah. So what sort of stuff are you going to be talking about on the show today? Uh, well, we've got a very, very interesting show today. Of course, um, earlier this week, um, Mickey Mouse actually turned 88. So it's a very oh, wow. old mouse. <laughs> Surprised it hasn't been stood on yet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Mouse, uh, we're talking about uh, a couple of things you didn't know about him. Believe it or not, and spoiler alert for all those out there, Mickey and Minnie Mouse were actually married. Off, no, off they are. Oh, yes, 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 the voice actors. I honestly thought they were yeah. related, but um, if, if they yeah. are, then that's really...